The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home, Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. How Bastion of Hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? place was pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing the tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few locks. <laughs> Edward Snowman was no beauty, but it was all I had left. The Organon had sealed the door to the Blast Tower. As if to say, if anyone is gonna blow this planet to hell, then it's gonna be us. What a joke. with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. It was easier to cut through the seal than I thought. I almost wished it had 
take any longer. Now the way was clear. the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Chill ran down my spine when I saw the bomb. Now they just snow in my hood. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's it. The end of... <coughs> the... <coughs> Frog in my throat. <laughs> The end of the road for me. Huh? Oh, typical. Even Armageddon is rusted over. Just you wait. Uh-oh. The thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze truth straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. from the sky. Also, I blew the pony out. <laughs> Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet pony about it. Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I going to do with it again? <laughs> Whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. 
That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organon conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy. Somehow my vision missed this. Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you, anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking. I'm actually not meant to be talking to you, at least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. What are you doing there anyway? You don't want to know that, believe me. <laughs> totally. Then stop asking me questions. No contact. It's essential. What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. But your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred. But we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound too? What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Porto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? What are you doing there, anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. 
Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Microna Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! <laughs> Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo! Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. Macronicle. Macronicle? But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture, but while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah, come on! Come on! Yeah, that's it! That's it! That's come on! Come on! Come on! Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. What? Oh no, not again! True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. Well, did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? Hey, Mac. World come to an end yet? I fear so, but I'll only be sure when it happens again. And? Caught any temporal anomalies yet? That's not how it works. Maybe you're holding the fishing rod the wrong way around. It's not a fishing rod. It's a device with which you can measure quantum superimpositions. <laughs> and then you wonder when no one takes the bait? There's a pink elephant running around here that keeps bothering me when I'm guiding you back. A pink elephant? That's highly unsettling. It could be the vanguard of a pink stampede. Or the time reset is having a detrimental effect on your central nervous system. Oh, impossible. I injected hot lead into my nervous system to double my imagination. I can't imagine how that would work. Well, I can. I need to get rid of that pink elephant right away. Perhaps you should visit a doctor. No, I can't expect any help from Dr. Gizmo. I'm banned from his clinic because I sometimes snack on expired drugs from his trash can. Uh, ah. Do you think my dream might also be a temporal anomaly? Possible. What was it about? I saved an Elysian from the Organon, and together we... Well, spare me the details, please. I'm sure that it was only a dream, and a rather common one at that. 
Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Right. Let's just wait a bit first. I hate repeating myself. Oh, oh, never again. You hear that, Tuck? Never ever again. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. <laughs> And there we go. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. So that last Nats piss was a little off, was it? It's always the last tricks of Nats piss that are the worst. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know then? Ha! Huh, I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's Piss that finishes you off. You should stop drinking. Stopping is not the problem. It's the starting again that I can't seem to stop. What day is it today? <laughs> and there's me thinking that I was drunk. Can't you hear the music? It is, of course, Barbecue Thursday. Barbecue Thursday? Which year? Oh, um, everything okay with you, Rufus? So-so. I had the strangest dream. I met an Elysian, and the two of us saved Deponia, just to ultimately blow it up myself. But Barbecue Thursday in Kuvak, that would mean none of that ever happened. The floating black market. Bozo, Doc! That just can't be true! My fans are gonna freak if they find out that my adventures never happened! Huh? What fans? Ah! Do you know where I can find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at Down in One. At Lonzo's? That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday hangover too? I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with six stuck to one's face. Do you know anything about visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliché. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning, too. I saw the pink elephant, too. Really? Yep. A real pain in the butt. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusions if I were you. Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already. I don't mean now, but... <laughs> Earlier. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? <laughs> Been there, done that, got the medal. I've got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened yet? Heh, <laughs> easy. You just have to, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, how does that actually work? I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. I'll find a way to make you remember. Uh-huh. I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. Professional advice? Loads of alcohol. Reliably helps against even the most stubborn future.
futures. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. Barbecues go out whenever I get close. <gasps> that can only mean one thing. I'm even cooler than I thought. Doubt that cursed tuber is still glowing hot. I'll have to cool it down somehow. Hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Wenzel, is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern, honest. Very funny, but great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh yes, the balloon. Have you really thought that one through? I know. A week in a confined space with her might make me suicidal, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without it. I just meant whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If your plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter, or your nose, or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me, and rightly so. You'll see. Then explain it to me again. What exactly do you see in that fool, huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man, huh? I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. Guy's got no job, no manners, and the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto, don't diss my friend. Ah, oh, come on, Tony. Do you really trust in that good for nothing? You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. Do you really believe he's going to get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress. <laughs> for the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth. You could have the pick of anyone, Tony. If only you'd open your eyes, you would see this. This here is a man. A real man. Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You want to touch my beard, huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're gonna have a storm. Lotto, what happened to you? You can. You can. You can call me Lottie from now on. Hey, Lotto. Call me. <coughs> call me Lottie. <laughs> so you're really a lady now? Why? What's... <coughs> what, what's wrong with that? Did I say there was anything wrong with that? On the contrary, congratulations on this bold step. You know, to be honest, I've always had the feeling there was a great woman somewhere inside of you. You calling me fat? What? No! Oh, sorry. I just feel so insecure. This is such a big step into the unknown. Don't worry. Big steps have always been your trademark. Hey, it'd be totally awesome if... Oh, it would be totally awfully sweet of you if... You gave me a leg up with an honest evaluation. Sure, 
as long as it's not a leg over. <laughs> mm. uh, so, is there anything about the new me that could do with improving? Uh, let me think. You don't have a bust. Rufus, control those wandering eyes! It's very unbecoming! Could be, but where would Lotto have looked? Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's not half a dirty turnip too close. Mm, you're right. Maybe I should remove the underwire from my manly men's corset. By being constricted by this symbol of androcracy for long enough. <coughs> Here, be a sweetheart and get this thing out of my sight! Is there anything else? Your legs are too hairy. Oh my goodness! Uh, you're right! Huh. It's a good job I haven't thrown my razor away yet! Ow! Ah! Darn that hurts! Ah! Good job! Hang in there! Ah! Oh, damn it! I'm dying! Ah! I feel for you, buddy. What? Oh, oh, I just mean. <laughs> oh, this sure stings. <laughs> Pfft, cry, baby. Is there anything else? Your legs are still too hairy. I'm on it. It's just such hard work. I need something. Better than this! If only I'd held on to my laser hair remover! Lotto had his hair roots lasered? He was in a sight wing, okay? Your voice is too masculine! Whose voice is too masculine? Uh, did I say masculine? No, a Valkyrie-like. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Better. What you need is a complete makeover. We can go shopping, we try on different clothes, groovy music, while I stand in front of the fitting room making eloquent facial expressions. Like this. Or this. Or this. Finally, it's off to a beauty salon and... Stop! 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 I'm sorry to curb your enthusiasm. But there's absolutely nothing to say. I have to slip straight into media stereotypes. Just because I'm a lady now. One transformation is more than enough for one day. Aw, oh, man. I think you're fine the way you are. Oh, you charmer. Could you lend me your razor? Not while I still look like a trash can alien lumberjack. Although I would probably have more success with a chainsaw than this blunt thing. Who did this to you? What do you mean who did this to you? I feel completely liberated. It's as if I've been trapped in an ugly great cocoon of ice for years. And now, I've finally melted and been reborn as a beautiful... Blue whale. Butterfly! <laughs> Butterfly! <laughs> That's exactly what I meant to say. Let me have another look at you. Maybe I can think of something else you could improve. Be completely honest. I think you're fine the way you are. Oh, you're charming. Could you lend me your razor? Not while I still look like... Although, I would probably... Right. Later, Gator. Uh, huh, huh? Oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, uh, my deepest respect, ma'am. Toodle-o! Champions here. Take the first prize. 
surprise. Oh boy, what is it? A power inverter. <laughs> Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. That could fit, but which way around? Nah, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Chill back mode! Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere. Hey, got it on the first try. I'm obviously on a winning streak. Uh, thanks, man. That was real necessary. Professor Rufus presents the miracle of heat exchange. Sweet. I could just pig out on looking at potatoes all day, except that I can't. I could just pig out, on, except that I can't. I could just pig out, except that I can't. It's the latest thing. What's that? A tinfoil hat. It'll help you remember. Then leave it where it is. I drink to forget. I don't want you to remember the past, just the future. Uh, sounds like a change of strategy. As I have absolutely no future anyhow, it can't get any worse. That's the spirit. But if it's all the same to you, I'll use my own. Sure, of course. I would too if I... Whoa, 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 wait a minute! What? You had a tinfoil hat with you the whole time? Must have been a flash of divine inspiration. I do so love nibbling the wrap off Matt's best bottles. I did, however, line it with straw in order to... I get it. You had a tinfoil hat. All that work for nothing. How incredibly hilarious. You see me wiping tears of laughter from my crow's feet. Can we finally move along here? Be my guest. But with what? Now, I don't want to bore you with details. Just remember this one thing. If history repeats itself, try to stop that pink elephant somehow. Yeah, okay, why not? It's the least I can do. I think so, too. Hey, Mac, do you have a minute? Given the context, would you like to rephrase that question? I'll take that as a yes. Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? 
you realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Whatever. I can do it over again if need be. The main thing is that the glasses remain intact. Well, yes, but perhaps with a bit more preparation, one could... Too late! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? Uh, here we go again. Rufus? Are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Come on. 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 Turn now. A little more to the right. Careful. A sweet wombat. Back a little. Dodge the vultures. Forward a bit. And stop. Perfect. Are you sure that I can leave it here? 100%. Whew. Then the timeline is probably intact again. That means... What is that? Uh, I'm receiving strange values. Values? What are you talking about? No idea. I... Rufus! Quack! It's here! Hurry! Tuck! What happened? The pink elephant. It was here. I wrestled with it. For a short while, I felt I was winning. But then, it disappeared into the ground. If anything's disappearing around here, it's your grip on reality. But you saw it, too. I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe it was all just my imagination. Well, your imagination has a really hard left hook. I know. But enough of that. The glasses are safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I'll go get Tony, and then we're out of here. I fear things will turn out different. I sure hope so. The elephant was here. Sure it was, but maybe you should lie down first. Tomorrow the world will look much friendlier again. Ugh. You haven't had much experience with alcohol, have you? He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus! May Tetanus be with us! And without light, then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's dental work went wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Not now, Wenzel. I have more important things to do than to listen to your squeaking. You're still a jack-o'-lantern, just the same. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. What did we agree about Snuggle Bunny? That, uh, she's a choleric little viper with a delectable derriere? I was trying to make the point that I didn't want you giving me a pet name. However, good answer. Do you have any idea what happened to Lotto? Let's just say he went a step too far. Yeah, I keep saying that kind of thing can end up badly, but you still insist that I take out the garbage. I meant that figuratively. What? Uh, wait, that was you? Why? He said some ugly things. Ugly duckling ugly or your mama ugly? <gasps> and beginning to think I hit the wrong one. The balloon is ready for liftoff. You really did it? Of course. What kind of stupid question was that? Nothing exploded? Not yet. Or burned down? Nope. Or got broken? Well, hmm. Two out of three. Much better than expected. 
You'll never believe what happened today. Oh, no. What have you gone and done now? Nothing. Why? No fires or explosions. No. Anyone injured or horribly burnt? Animals count too, you know. Nothing of the sort. Well then, you're right. I don't believe you. I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Mm, well, maybe so. But it was totally awesome. The Organon wanted to blow Deponia to bits, but I sure showed them where the Wombat's teeth hang. <laughs> hmm, perhaps it's some kind of expression of repressed self-loathing. I'm just saying that because you always end up blowing everything up. Self-loathing? Don't be silly! I'm great! Although, it is somewhat surprising that in my dream, all of the Organon were clones of me. No further questions, Your Honor. I had almost made it to Elysium. But then your human love went and got in the way. You always say that when your plans fail. But this time it really was like that. You mean in your dream? Oh, yeah, sorry. It was just all so realistic. So the next time you aren't quite sure, if one of your plans appears to be realistic, it's highly likely to be just a dream. We broke up. Yeah. I often dream that, too. At last! A week without the kitchen going up in flames! Well, it wasn't quite like that. Somehow, I was still living with you. Oh, so more like a nightmare. I met an Elysium, a real orbit pixie. Are you getting back at me for dreaming about Cowboy Dodo? You dream about Cowboy Dodo? Every woman dreams of Cowboy Dodo. I think he was in my dream, too. Do I need to be worried, then? It wasn't that kind of dream. Quite the opposite. I really gave him a pounding. Oh. In the end, I sacrificed my life to save Deponia. <laughs> you, of all people. Why not? Do I need to remind you that I donated my lymphatic system for medical research? That doesn't count. They only want it so they can work out how you got the spaghetti in there. Also, you hardly did it out of the milk of human kindness. You did it for a subscription to Surgeons Weekly. I only read it for the articles. Honest. Oh, you've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. Enough talk. Let's go. Phew, why not? What? No cynical comments? No doubt? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pat my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, this time? Well, that's, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, that would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is going to be one fun balloon trip. Ah, oh, shut your pie hole. say to me? Uh, on to Elysium? I mean, about broken glass. Sheesh! <laughs> broken glass? <laughs> it uh, brings good luck, no? You mean, like the luck of having a completely intact lower jaw? Gonna have to disappoint you there. Ouch! Tony! I'm disappointed in you, Rufus. I always thought you'd be the one to bring a breath of fresh air into this dump. But I got it all wrong. You make the same mistakes again and again and again. It was entertaining the first two or three times. But where's Thin by the fourth? Have a great time with your next attempt to reach Elysium, Rufus. If you need me, I'll be with my dad.
And for one last time, keeping the fire extinguisher on standby. Tony! Wait! Damn it! All because of that damned elephant again. Where's Tuck anyway? He was supposed to keep an eye on things. You just can't trust anyone for anything around here anymore. Huh. There they are. The shards of a dysfunctional relationship. Was it really too much to ask for you to prevent this debacle, Kowalski? I have no idea how this could have happened. I think that elephant is just too darn clever for us. Ah, hogwash. They haven't hatched the elephant that could put one over on old Rufus. Hey, Rufus. Not now, McComb Pickle. I have other things on my mind. Bit of girlfriend trouble? Ex-girlfriend. Thanks for that. Oh, jeez, Louise. And that's my fault? Uh, exactly. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Oh, dear. That's just so wrong. Don't worry. I have a new plan that should iron out this damned crease in time once and for all. Why? What are you planning? I think we went at the whole thing ass backwards. This is a crime scene. There have to be clues, traces. With my criminological skill and your Watson ability, we'll have this case solved before the elephant can say, Please, let's not stick around here for too long. That elephant could still be close by. I sure hope so. I'll put a knot in its trunk so that it never forgets what happens when you mess with Rufus. It is definitely still here. I'm completely certain now. Whatever you saw there is traveling through time. So that's why it's always one step ahead of us. Or behind. Difficult to say. I think I'm feeling sick again. Drink up, Tuck. Time to hunt elephants. Hmm? Strange. The shard glows here. Really? Then there's got to be a radiation source close by. Wait. Well, hello there. Aha. Uh -huh. Elephant skin. As far as I know, elephants don't shed their skins. Yeah, yeah. First you refuse to believe in pink elephants, and now all of a sudden you're an expert. Well, to me, that just looks like an ordinary bit of cloth. And the mysterious glow? My guess is tachyon radiation. It happens when matter is moved backwards through time. I'm measuring traces of it in the whole area here, and the broken shard has shifted it into the visible spectrum. Look, if I wanted a lecture, I'd buy myself a ticket for the university. There are no tickets to get to university, merely the numerous classes. Right. And on Junker's Eve, he comes flying over the roofs, bringing gifts. I mean, if that's the kind of crap you teach your students... Wait a minute. Did you say traces? Did I say that? Yes, of course. We can use the shard to make the tatzel worm radiation visible. Come on. I have an idea. A secret lever. Gentlemen, I present 
the secret elephant hideout. Okay, seriously, Mac, how do you always do that da 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 thing? Huh? Dad, whatever. There are more important secrets to reveal. Stay behind me. Wow. That must be the remains of the abandoned mall. Emphasis on abandoned. Exactly. There's no one here. Let's go. One moment. You see that tunnel there? The specimen has used it, and it wasn't that long ago. Then maybe it's still here. Hurrah. Let's go. I'll go this way. McChronicle, you take the other path. And what about me? Eh, you guard the entrance. What? Alone? Am I at least gonna be given a weapon? What kind of weapon? Well, any weapon. I've been beaten up enough for one day. It's so spooky here. Aha! Uh -huh. Uncannily exciting. Bit too exciting for my taste. Stay close, please, okay? Oh, uh, don't be too hard on him. He's a good lad. He is not. You only like him because he's your best customer. Oh, he, he normally just puts everything on your tab. <laughs> Talking of which, how's your store doing? <sighs> Ding dong. Am I uh, interrupting by any chance? No, you do it on purpose. Kid gloves, Rufus. <laughs> I don't want naked flames in my store. Don't worry, Bernard. I'm, uh, I'm, ca I'm, you know, I'm thingy. Uh, uh, careful? Uh, no, the other one. That is already disassembled. And as every tinkerer knows, after this comes re. Rufus, you can't simply dismantle the tap from that tank of accelerant. Sure I can, look! But now it's all pouring into the basement. Oh boy. You know, it seemed like such a good idea at the start. But no problem, I can fix this. Do you have an angle grinder? Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, just leave it for the moment. I'll sort it out later. You're on fire, Burnett. So you want to be a rat man? Well, not really. Then I have just a thing for you. Well, what? What are you doing? That's not going to hold like that. Hmm, true. The plan still needs a little fine tuning. I'll be right back. And don't you go sneaking off into the sewers. As if I hadn't used enough honeyed words on Lottie already. So you want to be a rat man? Well, not really. Then I have just a thing for you. So, how does that feel? Silly. At all. Exactly. So please behave accordingly. 
Come on, rat man. Let's play. Like men. I'm ready if you are. Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Uh, of course. This adult rat man here. That's not allowed. It's a game for adults. I am an adult. Precisely. You can tell by the thick beard. You forget that I've been standing next to you the whole time? That is not his beard. What could be more masculine than stealing a stranger's beard? I say he plays. You can't go over my head and decide that. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Uh, to be honest, it's a bit high up for me. <sighs> okay. He can play. Oh, boy! Uh, I, I mean... Oh, man. On your marks. Rotten fruit at the ready. And... Place! Well now, Rufus has won. Wait, I demand a rematch. Ha! <laughs> Forget it! If I remember correctly, children aren't even allowed to play. And I just happen to know that behind this admittedly rather convincing costume hides a small, ugly boy. Hey! Hey, nothing. Rules are rules. Bring on the jackpot! <laughs> Whoopsie. That was on purpose. Oh, just you wait. Ouch. That stupid rat ate my hunting license. Oh, what bad luck. That was my last. Bad luck? Maybe. In any case, the rat man smiled knowingly. His work here was done. What's going on? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing, nothing. On the contrary, you wear it like a man, rat man. Maybe this will help with your leg hair. Hmm. It's worth a try. What pain! What agony! Hey, when you're done acting like a sissy, can I borrow your razor? Here! Ah! Here! Take it! I don't need it anymore. Not unless I can feel my legs again anyway! Still. What? Hey, stop! So, how does that feel, Rat Boy? Uh, what happened to Rat Man? A lot of people ask that question. He was only in town for a short while, and was gone as quick and as quiet as he came. But his brief presence left deep teeth marks in their hearts. <laughs> Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And your name is? Zoon, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. 
Which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course. Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too. But elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hanagul and Hunagus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalfs. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. There's an elephant in the area. Ah, I'll only believe that when I see it. Well, he's very good at hiding. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat or a groundhog? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think that, and you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh. Poor Uncle Diego. Well then, bye barbecue. Yeah, whatever. The rat ate my hunting license. Why the long face? You used your hunting license to catch a rat. That's what it's for. And small animals are tricky. Even professionals will resort to high precision blowpipes for them. Why would I need more proof? You are a genuine, dyed in the wool big game hunter. Really? Of course. You can borrow the elephant gun anytime you like. Wow, thanks. And when I'm finished grilling here, we can share hunting tales. We'll plat rabbit feet into our hair and compare hunting scars. Eh, too bad. I already have plans. Hello, Zoon. Howdy, Rufus. Can you build me a high-precision blowpipe? Well, now that you're a big game hunter too, of course. Why not? Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts and blowpipes and bees for the nerve poison. Well then, bye barbecue. Yeah, whatever. Can I borrow your elephant gun? Well, now that you're a big game hunter too, of course. Why not? Just be careful with that. Too late. You already said. What's that meant to be? Part of a high precision blowpipe, maybe? Let the expert be the judge of that. That's a decent dart, just right for a high precision blowpipe. As soon as you bring me the rest, I'll give you your blowpipe. What's that meant to be? Part of a high precision blowpipe, maybe? Let the expert be the judge of that. Those are good bees. Just right for a high precision blowpipe. As soon as you bring me the rest, I'll give you your blowpipe. What's that meant to be? Part of a high precision blowpipe, maybe? Let the expert be the judge of that. As a blowpipe, it's a pretty miserable example. But it would probably do for a talented big game hunter. Now we've got everything together. Here is your blowpipe. Have fun with it.
hoops? <laughs> oh well, whatever works. Nope, doesn't fit. Wrong number of connections. So, how did that go again? Da, ah, whatever. Worked this way the first time. Killbot mode! Ah! All humans must be exterminated! Ah! Ouch! What's going on? Where is Chillbot? Chillbot can't help you! That loser mode can only be activated during throttle use. Before I let you throttle me, I'll throttle you! <laughs> Glorying killbot brutality. Whoa! Oh, that's better. Now, I just have to figure out how to activate the chillbot mode. Can't be that difficult. There are only three levers. Mode, come a bit closer and warm yourself in the fire of your friendly barbecue system. Killbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Welcome to the sun. Ah, ouch! What's going on? Killbot mode. Better not come too close. What? But... Oh, man. Shouldn't this setting activate Chillbot? Well, in theory, yes. But the throttling has given me a chronic processor malcooling. Oh, man. So all I have to do to activate Chillbot is remove the throttle limiter. That would be <laughs> very kind of... Robot mode. Robot mode. Robot mode. Ah, that's locked in place. Robot mode. <laughs>
Professor Rufus presents the miracle of heat exchange. Sweet. Say, when life gives you a potato, you have a potato. I don't need to pack that now or never. That I could just pig out a set that I can. Did I say there was anything wrong with that? On the contrary, congratulations on this bold step. You know, to be honest, I've always had the feeling there was a great woman somewhere inside of you. You calling me fat? What? No! Oh, sorry. I just feel so insecure. This is such a big step into the unknown. Don't worry. Big steps have always been your trademark. Hey, it'll be totally awesome if... Oh, it would be... Totally awfully sweet of you if you gave me a leg up with an honest evaluation. Sure, as long as it's not a leg over. <laughs> so, is there anything about the new me that could do with improving? Uh, let me think. You don't have a bust. Rufus! Control those wandering eyes! It's very... Unbecoming! Could be, but where would Lotto have looked? Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's not half a dirty turnip too close. Hmm. You're right. Maybe I should... Remove the underwire from my manly men's corset. I've been constricted by this symbol of androcracy for long enough. <coughs> Here, be a sweetheart. And get this thing out of my sight! Is there anything else? I think you're fine. Oh. Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, uh, my de- Toodle I always used to make potato astronauts. <laughs> I think I still have the touch. Did I say potato astronauts? No, I meant ear protectors. Are those by any chance ear protectors? Wow, thanks. You can imagine how much that band's incessant noodling is getting on my nerves. Come on, play Rudy's dental work. Rudy! Rudy! You heard it, labs. Our fans are clamoring for Rudy. A one, a two, a one, two, three, and whatever comes after three.
Now all that's missing is ammunition and a way to cram everything into the barrel. I could use that to load the weapon, but I still don't have ammunition. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. So, now all that needs to be done is stuff everything into the barrel. Ha! Huh. Done! Let the elephant come! Corporal Tuck, you stay here and guard the entrance. Hang on. Is that a weapon? You wanted a weapon, but I'm, um, a pacifist. Uh, above all, you're an especially easy target for someone with a loaded gun and badly strained patience. A, a weapon with which I can guard the entrance. Uh, uh, about time. How thoughtful of you to dig this thing out in order to slowly pass it over to me now. But end first. So, finally rid of all your worries and fears? Well, excellent. Then move out before our bloodthirsty ghost elephant grows fangs. <laughs> He's kidding, right? It can't be ruled out completely. So, find anything? Nothing. And there were no side turnings either. Huh, same here. Then we have obviously arrived too late. Not so fast. Maybe it used this ladder to get away. An elephant that can climb ladders? Oh, God, you have no imagination whatsoever. Aha! So this is where that goes. Very clever. And? Any idea where that... Elephant? Uh, gone. But now we know where its hideout is. We could go back to the past and trap it. I'm not so sure. Do we have enough time for that? Uh, time is your department. Can't we just rewind it a little bit further? Then... I can build the trap right before I help you park. I can try. I think I might still have a strengthener on the bed, but it won't give us much. Not much is way more than I expected from you. Time to put on my winner face. We have a plan! I dreamt of the end of the world, and then I went on an elephant hunt. Although, was that even really a dream? It seemed so real. Better safe than sorry. Maybe I should concentrate on building an elephant trap. Away with that! These things have blocked my view of the oxyhydrogen vents long enough!
The Bull Elephant Hideout is a china shop. Talk about your pseudo-poetic nonsense. Ah, I don't have enough bubble wrap. Oh, now all of a sudden it works. I'd better pack it up so it doesn't break during transport. On the other hand, he wasn't all that useful. I think I'll just go with this practical handle instead. But it's a good thing I have a plan B to fall back on. I think I'll... But it's a good thing... Bullseye. And Tony always criticizes my accuracy with the toilet seat. Not exactly the best spot for an outhouse, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. The trap is set. That destructive pachyderm is about to get the surprise of his little pink life. What? Are you finished already? Did I have a choice? You've taken far too long. Yeah, but all this fuss was for one purpose and one purpose only. So that you didn't run over those glasses. And now you can all of a sudden park perfectly without my help? That is connected to the complexities of time travel. Difficult to explain, even more difficult to understand. Ah, you had the rearview mirrors set wrong, didn't you? I'll happily drive in again if you like. Nah, forget it. Doesn't matter. And? I am not going through that again. It isn't necessary either. And now, while I go pick Tony up, biff buff, the trunk is off. It's gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? And how? The trap is set. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Not now, Jack-o'-lantern. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Well, maybe so, but it was totally awesome. Oh, you've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comments? No doubt? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pat my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. 
What do you mean, this time? Well, that's, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, that would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is gonna be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. Tony, no! Don't let the elephant out! It's a vile monster! <sighs> Rufus, have a real close look at your elephant. Well, notice anything? Well, I noticed the fact that whoever built this trap must have been a genius. I mean about the elephant. Oh. Uh, now I see it. It looks just like a Drexican piñata. Do you think it'll explode in a shower of candy if I hit it? Ouch! It worked! Candy's all over the place! But, wait a minute. I'd know these candies anywhere. Aren't these the same ones your mom always has? That's no elephant. That's your mom. You don't say. Just don't hit me too hard, okay? Wait up. Right. I'll give you exactly one sentence. It was a mistake? I reckoned with a, a fat pink elephant and, uh, well, look for yourself. That was your sentence? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Tony, you forgot to break my nose! Pow! Broken! Cry! Laugh! Forgive! <laughs> Tony? What's happened? No panic, I have everything under control. Well, it sure doesn't look like it. If anything, your girlfriend looks even angrier than before. I said I have things under control, okay? But the timeline! To hell with your stupid timeline! I'm dealing with some real problems in the real world. Got that, Dumbledolt? This is a nightmare. Forget it, Pops. Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Oh, that's what your mother said back then, too. It was the words, fresh cookies, that finally clinched it. Knocky, knocky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rufus. <laughs> Hello, Bernard. How bad is it this time? Oh, uh, I'd say we're on a 9.8. Make it around 10. So you are speaking with me. Then it can't be that bad after all. <sighs> Okay, okay. I'm sorry. There, I said it. Happy now? You just don't get it, do you? You can't constantly burn all your bridges and then expect that everything will continue as before. At some point, it's over. And that point is now. But that's what this is all about. Everything's ready. We can finally leave for Elysium to New Horizons. This isn't a new horizon. It's the same stupid horizon as last time, and the time before. And in the end, it'll just turn out to be a dead end. And that's where you're wrong. I happen to know for sure that I will make it. I've seen it, but not with you. Oh, no. I'm going to meet an Elysian woman, one who understands me. Uh, Rufus? So, surprised, aren't you? This time, I'm the one breaking it off. So there, find yourself another idiot to tolerate you and your nagging. You tolerated me. Uh-oh. Precisely, but my patience is at an end. You tolerated me! Oh, Tony, oh, calm down. My goodness gracious, Gumbo! This is a catastrophe! R relax Tony has always had this tendency to go for spontaneous self-combustion. Let's just turn back the time again. 
Or, uh, you know what? We'll just forget it. The Chrono Car! What have we done? We have irreparably changed the course of history! Calm down. Tony wouldn't have come anyway. In, in my vision, the fight went about the same, except for one or two minor details. What? In addition, you really don't want the story to play out. Believe me. It was a pretty stupid story. Didn't even have a happy ending. But we agreed that this vision could only have been a dream. Why? Because it's impossible to recall events from the future? That? Oh. Exactly. I bet all of this has happened before. My plans for getting to Elysium, the fight with Tony, and my having saved the world. You did what? You saved the world? Not yet. And the jury's still out on whether I want to do it again. Oh, my dear Aunt Dora, how could I have been so stupid? Precisely. You might want to think about your mistakes. In the meantime, I'm going to Elysium. This time, I'm not letting anyone spoil my happy ending. And away we go! Elysium, here I come! That's plan B, but we can gladly skip a phase if you want. You wait! That's the last time you'll see Tony! I'm gonna forbid her to ever meet up with you again! Go ahead! I'm done with her anyway, just like everything else here. Now you just have to let go! Are you crazy? I'll break every bone in my body! Ha! <laughs> with all that fat? Not likely. <sighs> and now we anchor! <laughs> bon voyage, you harpy! <laughs> what did you say? I said a <laughs> I can't hear you! The balloon is on fire, you dopus! <laughs> the balloon is on fire! <laughs> oh. Oh! Where's he gone? Stop him! Get the torches, men! Uh-oh. They're pretty pissed off. I think it's time to make tracks. Yikes! Be not afraid, Rufus. We have common Oh, really? Then why are you constantly terrorizing me? Everything must happen exactly how it happened before. Well, you can forget that. And anyway, what's with the stupid getup? We have selected our appearance to be comprehensible to human understanding. I think you should have got better advice. See, told you that this getup was a false mix idea. Only because you are constantly breaking character. We could swap. I'm certain you'd be the better elephant Krishnas. Hello. I hate to interrupt, but I have an urgent date with Elysium. No, that must not happen. Everything must stay exactly as it always has been. You mean as it was always was meaning to be? <laughs> bon voyage, Wumbo and Dumbo. The elephant, uh, I mean, uh, the, 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 the time traveler, it's here again. Uh, it was. He had to go again. Well, then it must have left something behind. My readings are conclusive. It's as if the gate had been opened. 
There he is! Up ahead! Get him! Gate sounds good. I hope it has a drawbridge and murder holes on the battlements. What the heck? So, Professor Goatee can't believe his eyes, huh? Now that's what I call a time machine. And what a parking job. Just leave your protractor in your pocket until we've shaken off the lynch mob. With a heavy heart. Wow, that looks complicated. Traveling through time is not exactly the same as changing a fuse. Ah, where we're going, we don't need fuses. You know how to turn that stuff on? Heavens no. It would theoretically take months of analysis to do that. Theoretically, maybe. But this, my temporal friend, is practical. Watch and learn. <laughs> Luck's finally on my side! Now, we can only hope that this is going to set the destination and not the target for the Pachyon torpedoes. There, I got it up and running. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. I'm guessing. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now, full speed ahead! Whoa! Guess that was reverse. Please be careful. My motion sickness. Yeah, yeah. Relax while you hold on tight. Yeah! <laughs> that. <gasps> That's Elysium. I actually made it. According to the display, it is a future Elysium. It doesn't matter which Elysium. I don't know anyone here anyhow. Although, there was this woman in my vision. How far into the future are we? Difficult to say. One year, two at the most. Excellent. Then her skin shouldn't have started to go all slack yet. Is that really your only worry? Of course not. At the moment, I'm kind of worried about getting a good spot by the pool. What? We can't simply... Wrong. You can't. I can. And I will have fun turning those knobs, loser! I'm sure that's just a nightmare again. Elysium can't have crashed. When the hell did that happen? Hello? I want to talk with the person in charge here. <laughs> That'll be me. If you would be kind enough to get me out of this rubbish dump, then I will be happy to answer any questions you may have. I set the conditions here. Got it? As you wish. Keep still. Now, this may hurt a little. What are you doing? Just wait and see. Are you doing anything yet? <coughs> no. Why? This door is slightly ajar. Let's see if... Nope. I need some kind of lever. Great. 
great. A storeroom, one highlight after another. What the? Roll up! Roll up! We've got all kinds of funny balloons over here just balloons? waiting to be won! What do I want with childish... Wait a minute. Are they by any chance helium balloons? Of course they are! Just like the ones used to carry heavy debris away? I never heard that before! Not one more word. This congenial thinking apparatus has just formed a plan for a new brilliant maneuver that will be the talk of generations to come. That's assuming they can get their jaws off the floor. This is just goo. I'm terribly sorry, sir. That's probably because the kitchen's on fire, sir. Yeah, spare me the excuses and put a little more effort into it. Very well, very well, sir. Now oh, what the heck? Before it goes bad. Stop taking all the room. Sorry. Whew. Ah! Damn, I can't reach it. Hey, Mick, Mick, Mac, Mac, Mick, Mick, Mac, Mac, Mac. Hmm. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher in the storage compartment behind you. Could you please? Uh, all right. Um, I think you're... That doesn't matter. It'll work. <laughs> a fire extinguisher is a fire extinguisher, right? Nina, Nina, help is on the way! Oh, so in the end, that wasn't a fire extinguisher, but it even had this extra sign with flames on it. Away with this filth! Not much use to me up there. Whining. It almost worked. As far as I'm concerned, I'll chalk this idea up as a success. I can't feel my legs anymore. I say success. Yikes, pretty shaky here. Huh, <laughs> sloppy. Just because they build a city in orbit doesn't mean it shouldn't be earthquake proof. <laughs> what exactly are you going to do? I'm gonna free you. What else? By destroying the balcony? Exactly. The balcony will plunge into the depths, together with the cables, and take the pipe with it. But, but pronto, I get the message. <laughs> Ugh. Damn, that is hard. Another try. Second verse, same as the first. Whew. I'll get it. Are you sure that... I said I'll get it! Come on, move! 
move. I'm really not sure if that's such a good idea. Patience. I'll just hang my weight on it. What? No! Stop! didn't quite go according to plan. Hello? What idiot did that? Oh, just you wait. Rufus? <gasps> the orbit pixie of my vision. My name is Gold. Gold. Exactly. Then it really was the future I saw. You and I saved the world together. Yes. Wow. Well done. Does this look like we saved the world to you? I was just about to ask. What happened? You left us in the lurch. That's what happened. I sacrificed myself for you, for the Ponia. Yes. At first, that's what I thought too. But I had a lot of time to think about it. Ultimately, you just did it for yourself again, didn't you? Um, could I just interrupt you a second? You two obviously have a lot to talk about. But is this really the right time? You keep out of this, Rubble Stiltskin. Now, Mick Shitbag is right. We can talk about this later. First, we need to get out of here. a minute. It was you who made half the tower collapse. Half? The lion's share. Wow. Can you climb up to the time machine? Time machine? That'll be here then. But, but, time machine. Uh, I'll explain later. First, we need to get out of here. And you go first. Very well. I'll try. That's looking fine. You've really kept in shape. I even like your new hairdo. A little short, but... On the subject of keeping, how about keeping your big gob shut? Wow, and you've grown a little more prickly, too. Everything okay? Yes, fabulous. My home is destroyed. Most of my friends are either dead or buried in rubble. And to top it all, this stupid hook is stuck. Wait, I'll help you. Three? What are you up to? What do you think? Two? No, stop! Don't! Two and a half. Do you want to kill us? Damn, now I got mixed up. Ah, whatever. One. That was embarrassing. Uh, I didn't see a thing. Honest. Ah, oh, the piercing is new, right? The, oh, the, that, that was a uh, piercing, was it? Change the subject, okay? Uh, if we have to. What's our next move? I'm still trying to understand the armatures. There must be a function somewhere that will take us back. Back? Nonsense. We have a time machine. We can go anywhere. Here, for example. Don't! You don't know what you're... Oh, what? <laughs> That's how it's done. Very smooth. Like an eagle. Oh, uh, that wasn't making any reference. I really didn't see anything. Elysium. Well, it's the lower dock at least, and it looks a lot less smashed than before. So, time machine, eh? I estimate we have landed in about the same time that we set off. One day, more or less. I know exactly what day it is. That's my luggage there. It's the day I went to Deponia with Cletus. Yeah, that's the trip where we meet, and together we save Deponia! With your narcissistic parting shot being a suicidal death jump. Hey, are you gonna hold that against me forever? It happened. Well, actually, that's not happened yet at this point in time. Yeah, yeah, well, will have happened. 
The thing is, it's yesterday's news. You mean tomorrow's news. Old hat. It's a new hat. You know, you're really starting to get on my nerves, McMuffin. Wait a minute. You mean we could still change that? Can you please stop trying to destroy the space-time continuum? With each passing second that we remain here, we are wreaking untold damage. We have to return to our times. Count me out. I thought that my time was up. Now, I can get it back. Go! Don't! Go! Jeepers creepers! She's stolen the time machine. How are we gonna get out of here now? Get out of here? <laughs> what for? We are on Elysium, and there's another goal here, too. I finally made it. But the future! Ah, forget your stupid future. You've seen what a pile of crap it is. And trust me, it doesn't get better. Later, there's nuclear winter, few locks, mustaches. Wait, didn't she just say that you made a suicidal jump? Uh, oh yeah, I must have survived somehow. I remember being old and worn out. <laughs> Terrible. I don't know how you can stand that. Could it possibly be that... No. Or... Yeah, could it be that blah, 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 blah. I've racked my brains for the rest of the world often enough. Now, it's time for my happy ending. ever half full, huh? What now? That's bound to be security. Quick, hide! Stop dawdling. When we're finally married... Wait a minute. Where's Mrs. Kinkle? And what's all this luggage? Surprise! I talked Mrs. Kinkle into letting me accompany you to Deponia instead of her. What? Are you out of your mind? Your father will never allow it. My father doesn't need to find out. So, what do you say? I say never. Really? You may be able to wrap pops around your little finger, but just because he agrees to our engagement doesn't by any means mean that I have to agree to it. That's blackmail. You can call it what you like, but if you don't take me with you, you can hold your breath to marry me until you're blue in the face. It won't happen. Impossible. This trip to Deponia isn't some jaunt to the beach. I have an important inspection to carry out. Ah, oh, I almost forgot Precious's bathing costume. I said it isn't a jaunt to the beach. Anyway, how often have I told you to stop calling that animal Precious? Well, what would you suggest? Princess. No. Mindy. No. Candy. No way. Nancy. No. Lady. Definitely not. Gertrude. No. Princess. No. None of those. He's called Poisonous. Uh, after all, he is a highly poisonous plague spit monitor. One lick of his tongue and bam! Could bring down a fully grown elephant. No problem. And despite that, you are planning to take him to Deponia, but not me. Believe me, there are many more dangerous things down there. Bacteria, radiation, tetanus, and there isn't an antidote in the whole of Elysium that can help against Deponian gangrene. By the way, did I pack the antidote for Monitor Plague Spit? Ta-da! You see, I could come in very 
useful down there. By carrying my things around without permission, everything must be safely stowed for my trip to Deponia. The roads down there are paved with danger. Junk avalanches, shrapnel storms, insurgent Deponians. Oh, give it a rest, will you? Those stories are nothing more than urban legend, and my inspection will prove precisely that. Huh, so what's with those lights you can see at night? They are from the Organon. Are Ulysses' men supposed to prepare the detonation of the planet in darkness? Hmm, I'm still skeptical. My travelogue is sure to convince you otherwise. You, the Council of Elders, and everyone else. These rumors are purely the product of general anxiety. I mean, we're detonating our home planet in order to catapult Elysium right across the cosmos to Utopia. Who wouldn't be nervous? Hmm, yeah, but... Enough chitter-chatter. Here. Pack this away. Does that mean I can come? Please, Cletus. Why should I take you with me? So you can cause even more chaos? Just look at how you stuffed the antidote in there. Which bag is that, anyway? The one with the rat traps. Rat traps? You've got to be joking. There isn't a single living thing down there! Not even a rat? No! I'm sure there'll be mice. Stop trying to distract me. The antidote belongs in the pharmacy bag, if only because it causes such heavy-duty flatulence. Oh, no. Oh. That's a bit rich coming from you. Huh? Huh? What? Whatever. If you want to come along, you'll need to put on some sturdy shoes. So that means I can come, yes? Oh, Kalitas. Perhaps you aren't the self-obsessed monster that everyone thinks you are after all. Yes, those idiots simply have no feeling for perfection. <laughs> I'll be right back. No, I regret this. If only she wasn't quite so hot. Engaged to the daughter of the Prime Controller. Oh, Cletus, you are quite a fox. Stuffing would be too good for him. I can't reach that from here. Ha 
Aha! The high boat. Better get a move on. Did you invent a new type of yoga? I'm stuck! No problem. Have you out of there in no time flat. <laughs> what the now? was that? I'm feeling kind of... Yes. How am I feeling? Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. You are a kind person. Go! Oh, what is that terrible smell? <laughs> oh dear, what's the matter now? Uh, stop! <coughs> Please stop! <laughs> You. Do you see anyone else? Ahem. <laughs> Attention. Prime controller on deck. That'll do, Argus. Ulysses. <laughs> Inspector, would you be good enough to tell me what's going on here? Uh, uh, yes. Well, uh... Stop stuttering and stand up straight. I thought we'd agree that everything would be ready by the time I arrived. It is. Thus far, you've given me the impression that you're a reliable man, Cletus. Do yourself a favor, and don't spoil it. As you know, my daughter's hand is conditional. The Council of Elders must never find out that Deponia is inhabited. Where's your assistant? You are going to introduce her to me. Oh, my assistant. <laughs> she forgot something. Forgot? Heavens, Cletus! I thought she had a brain implant! You vouched for her! But I assume she has been made privy. If she... Uh, yes, of course. C completely privy. Everything's tickety-boo. <laughs> There's absolutely no cause for concern. <laughs> I hope not. Argus, make sure the assistant has the ascension codes loaded into her implant. Very well, Prime Controller. Keep an eye on the civilians. I'm going for a shower. It's about time this horrible, dirty old planet got blown up once and for all. At ease! What's wrong, Cletus? You seem nervous. That's an understatement. A goal says she will only agree to our engagement if, if I allow her to accompany me. Ha ha ha! Not even engaged, and you're already under the thumb. You find that funny? Why not? You'll talk her out of it, won't you? You don't know her like I do. Heavens, Cletus! Ulysses will... Ulysses must know nothing of this. I just have to keep Gold in her cabin. As long as she doesn't see a Deponian, then everything will be fine. I still don't like it. What if you make a backup of her memories while you load in the Ascension codes? Then, if needed, we could reset her memories. <laughs> a backup of her consciousness and the Ascension code. That might work. Ugh, one week down there and everything stinks of feces. Fortunately, we'll be rid of Deponia soon, and Gold will have a clean planet to live on. I hope she's at home. I think feces was a little harsh. <laughs> the silent ones are the deadliest. <laughs> so what? Damn it! Uh, I'll have to rely on my detective skills to avoid crossing Ulysses' path. Fa la 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 la. Tru la 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 la. Or 
I could just follow that angelic voice through that passage up ahead. Say, ah. Uh... That was F sharp, you Philistine. Knock, knock. May I come in and disturb your shower? My lovely uh, silhouette of a naked, hairy old man. I'm going camping in the floating gardens for a few days with some friends. Is that okay? Of course it is, my little cream puff. Just so long as you don't reprogram the park attendants into cartridge music players again. You're the best. Bye. Come on, no way. For crying out loud, I missed her. Hey, who's there? What are you doing here? Uh, room service? A clone? Are the service bots out of order again? Ah, uh, yes, there's a bad outbreak of a robotulosis at the moment. Very contagious. On level five, even the toasters are already coughing. Is that so? Oh, never mind. Take my helmet to the cleaners and be gone with you. Very well. Recognized connecting to system. Welcome, Prime Controller. New emergency bypass options have been added. To activate Elysium Self Destruct, simply click on the totally cool <laughs> symbol. Your Elysium Security Protocol Bluebird wishes you a wonderful day. <laughs> cool? Yes, who? Oh, no. Dad, please don't go all Prime Controller on me. I told you, I'm going camping. Like hell you are! I know that you plan on accompanying Cletus to Deponia, but that's not gonna happen. You will stay here. Do you understand me? Uh, why should I? Because otherwise I'll activate the self-destruct sequence. You... what? Okay, I am not able to take you seriously anymore. Do what you like. I'm not talking to you. Doing? I'm initiating the self-destruction sequence, as promised. You wouldn't dare. Just watch me. Ha! I knew you were bluffing. So long, Dad. Damn, that looked really promising. I'm sure I could convince her with the right emergency codes. Shall we give Lovebird Grey another go? But Sugar Plum, we've already decided that it's too gloomy for us. Maybe you should get an expert opinion. Oh, I didn't even see you coming. <laughs> what can I say? I'm like climate change, but you can call me Rufus. Oh, <laughs> you're a real joker. I'm Henna, and that's my husband, Tanner. We're the new neighbors. We've got a little problem setting up home. We just can't find the right curtains. The sissy soft drapes have these great conservative frills, but the pattern's not traditional enough for us. The limp bound blinds, on the other hand, are pretty middle of the road, but they, they aren't quite namby-pamby enough. You know how it goes. In a marriage, crises come with the territory. Oh no, nothing can cast a shadow on our love. Apart from perhaps the right curtains when we close them for a little smoochy woochy. <laughs> How about goosebumps? When I hear you talk like that, my skin crawls. 
Unfortunately, Goosebump is only available in the colors Squirrel Bath and Slime Bag. <laughs> Perhaps we should have them send some more patterns after all. I don't know. I find the selection suits you. Question one, is there another interface available that doesn't talk my ear off? This is Elysium. You can find whatever you wish for here. You've just got to take the mallet. Mallet? What mallet? Oh, boy. Some ne'er-do-well has made off with the mallet again. Never mind. That's why I'm here. Where do you want to go? You could do with a little fun. So I suggest the fun zone. Fun zone? Oh, yeah. That sounds like fun. Then there you have it. The fun zone it is. Welcome to the fun zone. Collect 10,000 fun points and win a great prize. Choose one of the many attractions and most importantly, have fun. 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 Was funny. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Rufus! Uh, uh, we should definitely do that again sometime. Hey, man. I think the guy over there is trying to get your attention. Huh? Where? Oh, him. Now uh, that's just my chronicle. Hey, 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 oh, the time loop! Like, uh, uh, and why is he getting in such a flap? 
no idea. All I can hear is... <laughs> Good thing I'm an expert at reading lips. Come on, give me a come on, come on, need your time reset. Come on, we got to I think he's saying time for bed. That was the time reset. You look how we have starting. And some choir is farting. To me, it sounded more like time reset starting. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any sense. Unless, of course, uh oh. For crying out loud, I missed her again. Hey, who's there? Uh, room service. Uh, the service bots have, uh, robo uh, uh, thingamajig. Oh, well, if that's the case, uh, take my helmet to the cleaners and be gone with you. Okie dokie. Why is there a time reset now? That doesn't make any sense. I should talk to McWhat's face. Goal never told me that she once had braces. Uh, <laughs> how sweet. Progress. Surely it doesn't matter, as long as we love each other. <laughs> True. I could look at curtains with you forever, Henoku. Oh, Tana, how romantic! Oh, I wish we had even more patterns to browse. Ugh, you two are disgusting. Especially now that time has been reset. I know. Someone must have used the crank on the chrono car. And now they have to celebrate Barbecue Thursday all over again. That'll teach them. I fear not. If they didn't have tinfoil hats on, they'll do exactly the same thing tonight. And then again and again. And we're stuck here and can't do anything about it. It's the end of time as we know it. You mean today will just repeat itself forever? Huh. I can imagine worse. Like what? Well, today wasn't a bad day. I had fun. Just too bad the goal isn't here. Maybe I can persuade her in the next loop. Then we'd be happy here on Elysium till the end of time. But that's just not possible. Time would never move forward. Yeah, I got that part. You can stop with the advertising already. But, oh, oh what have I done? Hot. 
Verse Things First, the vending machine for your own personal worst case scenario. Caution, bones and teeth are not automatically removed. Hey, that actually verts. Vert, vert, vert works. The sauna is closed. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. All this time traveling is sweaty enough as it is. Huh? Is this the right place? I wanted the Council of Elders, not assisted living. What are you doing? What do you think? I'm accelerating your tanning process. Oh, how friendly of you. Thanks. Although, don't you hear that alarming sizzling sound? <laughs> That's just your pigments throwing a party. And the smell? It's a barbecue party. Ah, how nice. They're all waxy. Looks like the sun melted them a bit. And voila! Another masterpiece of psychoactive future origami. As the gooey residue of melted pleasures dripped through his fingers, he asked himself, is this the irony of fate? Or just another side effect of inhaled plastic vapor. What can I say? As red as Tux nose at the Mud Cake Festival. Empty. Two toots of the horn. Why? Because
because I still need 10,000 points. Oh, yeah. Wait up. Beep, boop, brr, boop, 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 brr. So, 10,000 points registered. What? Really? Sure. No problem without those pesky security protocols. That's all right for you, ain't it? You can bet your last drop of coolant. My pleasure. Drinking water supplies are drained. Uh... Party! Woohoo! What are you doing just sitting around here? I have 10,000 fun points and demand my audience. Oh, congratulations. But I'm a bit engaged right now. There's something wrong with the gastro box. Guests are promised food and drink served in a cozy atmosphere. But the food is inedible. Look! Ew. Exactly. Not only that, there are fish swimming in the 40 centiliter drinks. As long as these problems remain, my presence here is of the highest priority. So, this is now a matter for the boss. That's good. Get this monstrosity out of my sight before the other guests see it. This restaurant will have to remain closed for as long as high-quality nutritional dishes are not available. Oh dear, I can't pour this drink into the blender as long as that alcohol-dependent little fish stares at me with his cute little chunky eyes. Hang in there, little Tuckleberry Finn. <sighs> I'll mix you a new home. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with a drink for that old fart over there in the process. Hmm, there's nothing like the smell of fresh ground maggots. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious maggot sausage. Here you go. Compliments of the chef. Ah, German veal sausage. There's me thinking that our kitchen was unable to prepare this. After all, the main ingredient is a hotly guarded secret. <laughs> and if my guess is right, one to take to the grave. Here you go. A completely fish-free drink. Indeed. I always knew that personally attending to this problem would pay dividends.
Bradley! Does that mean you're finally ready to come with me? Wrong! The hair on my back needs waxing first. You gotta be kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? Nah, more like something I once saw in a freak show. Oh, that's hot! Oh, quiet. It's supposed to be like that. It's enjoyable. So, done. Are you finally coming along? No, I think I trapped a nerve in the process. I insist on another massage. Uh, if your plan was to make me cry, you've almost done it. progress surely it doesn't matter as long as we love each other <laughs> true I could look at curtains with you forever Hennepu oh Tana how romantic oh I wish we had even more patterns to browse Ugh, you two are disgusting how about this silverback gorilla hair oh yes that's pretty Ever so masculine, too. So soft. And so classy. Oh, silver is very much in at the moment. It's the new Mo, don't you know? But nonetheless timeless. Then it is decided. <laughs> Finally! Here, keep these samples. We don't need them anymore.
Ah, oh, the sauna is closed. <sighs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. All this time traveling is sweaty enough as it is. the makings of a successful producer, and I haven't even begun to cancel vacations yet. Oh, what's that supposed to be? A pet, of course. Oh, yes, that's just right. It's fluffy, has sable stripes, and isn't too aggressive. <laughs> oh, what a delight. here. Hello? Funny. They're all gone. Hello? Anyone home? No! Go away! Aha! Uh -huh. I figured as much. So this is where you're hiding. Don't leave the door open! Quick, come in! Ugh. Ow! Man, it's tight in here! And... Blah, so slimy! Shh! They're still outside! Who's outside? Few locks! They're everywhere! How could this happen? Uh, yes, that's a mystery. But before we start running around making accusations, we should concentrate on the problem instead. You are right. There's an emergency terminal in the Council of Elders. But how will we ever get there? The route to the elevator is much too dangerous. Nonsense. It's all clear out there. No sign of... Ah! Ah, ah, I know a way. Ah! Oh, it's you. <laughs> Do you have to sneak up like that? What are you doing, anyway? I have found a ventilation duct that runs along the length of the lift shaft. It's not an easy ascent, but still better than the only other obvious alternative. We just have to somehow get this metal great open all the way up to the council of elders i don't know help is sure to arrive soon and we still have two hours of sauna time left hey what are you doing <laughs> 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 Ugh. I'm getting all slippery. Just not slippery enough to be able to get out of here, unfortunately. What are you doing? <laughs> Man, that's disgusting. Ugh. Doesn't get any more slippery than this. What are you doing? Looking at our options. But that wasn't one. Wait for it. Hey, do you think that's funny? Ah! 
Stop ah. whining. There, the coast is clear. Well then, let's get out of here fast. Heavens, they're everywhere. Now they've spotted Mrs. Zinkle. Quick, Mrs. Zinkle, run! No, not in there, not... There goes the waffle stall! <laughs> that was unpleasant. Where were you? <laughs> All hell's broken <laughs> loose! <laughs> We know that already! Quick! Activate the emergency terminal! Can anyone remember the codes? They're on a bit of paper in the emergency code drawer. Well remembered. Well, what's the code for the code drawer? Uh, yeah. Wait, I'll get it! I guess you could say that's my specialty. Not the champagne showers! You can do it! We're running out of time! The Gordley Forest is burning! The beautiful marble frescoes! Not the champagne showers! We're running out of time! The beautiful marble frescoes! They're already in the Koi Aquarium! Finally! There! I have the coat! Too late! They're climbing up the walls! Quick! Beat it out! Okay, here we go! Alpha, Alpha, Gamma, Gamma! This code is absolute hammer! They're coming through the elevator shaft! Gamma, beta, gamma, beta, abort now instead of later. It doesn't work! Because that's the abort code. The correct one is on the other side. Ah! They've got my leg! Ah! 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 Quick! Wait, there. Alpha, beta, gamma, zeta. Not so quick! Not so quick! For crying out loud. Oh, that's impossible. Hey, who's there? Room service, okay? A clone? Are they, uh... Yes, damn it. The service bots have an imaginary disease, and I'll take the stupid helmet for cleaning, too. Uh, uh huh. Uh, then you do that. And step to it. Okie dokie. Recognized connecting to system. Welcome, Prime Controller. New emergency bypass options have been added. To activate Elysium Self Destruct, simply click on the totally cool <laughs> symbol. Your Elysium Security Protocol Bluebird wishes you a wonderful day. <laughs> Please don't go all Prime Controller on me. I told you, I'm going camping. Like hell you are! I know that you plan on accompanying Cletus to Deponia, but that's not gonna happen. You will stay here. Do you understand me? Ugh, oh, why should I? Because otherwise I'll activate the self-destruct sequence. You... what? Okay, I am not able to take you seriously anymore. Do what you like. I'm not talking to you. What are you doing? I'm initiating the self-destruction sequence, as promised. You wouldn't dare. Just watch me. Alpha, Alpha, Shooby Dooby. This code is absolutely... Hammer. Although, uh, wait, stop. Those were the abort codes. What's that you're muttering? Uh, uh, got it. Uh, alpha, Beta, Sha La La. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And done. Well done. You've activated self-destruction.
extract. <laughs> I'm a genius. You've got a wonderful 30 seconds to evacuate Elysium. If I had fingers, I'd cross them. Okay, this is crazy, Dad. Thank goodness I know you won't go through with it. Come on. Turn it off. Dum de dum. I don't see you stopping the elevator. Okay, you win. I'll wait for you down there. And now abort! Nothing easier than that. 20 seconds and counting. Alpha, Beta, Epsilon... No, wait. Quick! It started with, uh, Alpha. I already told you that I would stay! D don't rush me! 10 seconds! Ha <laughs> Gamma, something something is absolute burner. Hammer! <laughs> You're right there. Five, four... Oh, I know! Three, two... No. Wait, you are... Who the devil are you? Your future. But you can call me Rufus. Huh. Well, a fine future awaits me then. You nearly blew up Elysium. Not much better than what Elysians have in mind for Deponia. What? You're Deponian? Then it's true. There is life on Deponia. Which makes the inspection tour obsolete. Quite the opposite. Deponia is inhabited. I've just got to see it. What for? You're already talking to the creme de la creme. The rest is... <sighs> yep, exactly. Like him. Another Deponian. Seen enough? Great. We don't have a lot of time to enjoy eternity. Or to break this vicious circle. Hey, nothing is getting broken around here. I'm on Elysium with gold. It can stay this way forever. What are you talking about? We have got into a time loop. If we don't do anything, this thing will repeat itself for all eternity. Which doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Wow, that sounds exciting. What can we do? Uh, fun zone? No, we have to go to Deponia. Yes. There's my chrono car. That's the source of the anomaly. A real adventure! Do I still have time to get my detective set? Are you crazy? We're not going anywhere. Oh no! The high boat! Right, that's settled. But... And they lived happily ever after. Without ever coming even close to anything resembling the end of time. Why are there monsters in the elevator? I don't understand it either. That was in the last loop. They shouldn't be here. Holy moly! We're gonna be killed by few locks for eternity. Not if I will have been able to prevent it. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill us? No, I wanted to leave that to the few locks. Come on, shut that door. I'm scared of heights. Is it greater than your fear of being torn apart by few locks? Well, it's great enough for me to always carry a parachute in my backpack. A parachute? Did I say parachute? Pair of uh, shoes. Or a uh, pair parachute. Ah, I don't even think of it. And now, hold on. No, wait. Ah! Are we meant to be dropping so fast? It's the law of physics. This parachute was only designed for one person. Ah! Rufus? Rufus, are you all right? Nothing is all right. You and I, we once saved Deponia. Now, damn time machine, I thought we could make everything turn out even better without my having to plunge to my death in the end. But now, everything is worse. And the best I can hope for is to restore the old version. Elysium will fall, you'll hate me, or the Fulox will rule the planet. Sounds like we've been through a lot together. Oh yeah, you could say that. Ben, I've got good news for you. In this timeline, I don't hate you yet. Quite the opposite, actually. I'm finding this all very exciting. Time travel, few locks, parachutes, and the day has only just begun. If I think of everything that could happen tomorrow as well... But first there has to be a tomorrow. That sounds like an adventure. Then wash your ears. We don't even know where we landed here. How are we supposed to make it to Kuvak by this evening? So it's a bit tight. Who cares? It's not really a good reason to cower in a hole in the ground, is it? Just look at the Chronicle. He would never give up. Say what? But that's... that's... 
if there's one thing I never do, then it is give give up. Who cares if Elysium is now infested with few locks? or that we changed everything that was saving Deponia from demolition. The main thing is, I'm still alive. Nothing else matters. I wanted to go to Elysium? Check. I wanted to save the world? Check. Okay, it's been more saved. I, I admit it. But no one can force me to go through all that crap again. All I have to do is break this stupid time loop. Look to the future. That's the motto. Um... That's the right attitude, I think. So, which way to Kuvat? <laughs> ah, there you are. It doesn't work. Huh? Have we met? I thought so. Well, I would know if we had. I can even remember things that haven't happened yet. Hmm. Then maybe it does work. What works? The prophesying. I foresee things. Well, welcome to the club. And I speak with our maker. <laughs> Please leave the club grounds immediately. Don't worry. At the moment, I don't do either. Chiseler's block. I'm stuck on the fourth and three quarters commandment. Four and three quarters? Yes. Uh, the, the third one ended up being quite wrong. So what? Who cares? But the space on the stone is limited. And then there are the high localization costs. And still, you talk and talk. Originally, it was just going to be three commandments, but I've got the feeling it's missing a good conclusion. A blessing in disguise. You ran into just the right man. Okay, how about thou shalt never carve things in stone? Oh, I like that. It's succinct. And it has that self-ironic nod and a wink that you only usually find in the title of hip-hop records. So, what do you think? Perfect. We should present it to the audience. He looks like someone who sleeps under a bridge, but then where did he get the curtains? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to... Hobo Moses! <laughs> Thou shalt not write things in stone! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. The perfect conclusion for the series. I think you should do another one. Don't you think it leaves too many questions open? Right. For example, what happened to those neighbors? They appeared in the Second Commandment. Maybe you shouldn't have carved it in stone. Now you need another commandment to reconcile you with your community. I only ever wanted to be loved. Yoo-hoo! You there! Do you know the way to Kuvak? Who what? Kuvak, a village south of Busa Westfar. It doesn't really sound like now it's more like the hub of hopelessness. What? It is. It's at least four days' march to Musa West Park. It would even take a whole day in a rush bucket. I don't have an entire day. Then forget it. There's nothing here. Port Arresta is a few hours upriver. If someone gave you a lift, you might just make it. Before my chronicle leaves for Kuvak. Of course. Did you hear that, goal? There's still hope. Now we just need to find my chronicle. And someone who'll lend you. Maybe you could find one at the fair over there. At the what? I think I just found my chronicle. Fancy taking a ride on the boat alone. 
Well, I actually happen to be looking for a boat. I have to be in Porta Rustica before sunrise. <laughs> you can't hurry in love, my friend. This trip's only for couples in love. Oh, that's easy. I'm, uh, I'm here with my girlfriend. Whoa. I wouldn't have guessed you had a girlfriend, judging by your looks. <laughs> How about you, sweet thing? My grandma is called Doris? That's got an O in it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. But if you do, just stick your photo in the love meter What do you mean, photo? <laughs> you say you're in love, but you ain't even got a photo of her in your wallet. What, what's a wallet? No photo, no wallet. Ain't that right, sweet thing? I saw a cat that was like red and brown and white. <laughs> you said it, but don't be sad. You too will find your one true love. Here, take this sausage token as a consolation. They only rent boats to couples in love. Well, um... I know, sounds great. But they want a photo as proof. This is probably the most nefarious puzzle I've had to solve so far. Puzzle? Don't you think that... Don't worry, I'll take care of it. <laughs> you don't know me that well yet, but I'm a professional when it comes to romance. Oh dear. First, I need to find the three prerequisite tasks. There are always three prerequisite tasks. Just wait here, I'll be back soon. But that... The current edition of Hats. Well, who would have thought? Apparently, ball is all the rage. Online. What can I sausage for you? A one sausage, please. All out of sausage. Well, I thought this was a sausage stand. Please don't rub salt in the wound. The whole thing is humiliating enough as it is. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. The costume and all. Costume. <clears throat> yeah, right. So, what have you got? Nothing. Everything sold out. Oh, great. What am I supposed to eat? You think you've got it hard? I've got a family to feed. Can you just take one more look? Oh, all right. Express train from Chandra Town, Spoonville, 
Barfington and Upper Chuck Kingsley. Help! Passengers connecting you to Herlinden should please check the flyers in section one. Help! Stand back and exercise Help! caution as your train arrives. Shit, not exactly precision. There's a ring in there with a little lock. Oh, crap. This time I'm gonna get the ring. Damn. Here, ringy, ringy, ringy. Oh, come on, that's impossible. Ha! Now I gotcha. Surprise, surprise. Ah, there's the ring. Hey, stop! Oh, man, that can't be true. Those damn wombats, they always mess things up. Get lost. I'm closed. Wait a minute. I know you. You're the pipehead man, the fortune teller from Port of Fisco. I barely recognize you, Baldy, with that hat. You're mistaken. I've never ever been to Port of Fisco. And I've never had a bald head either. Because it hasn't happened yet, except for the Baldies. You should just admit that. But we'll be running into one another a few times. Oh, so it's come to this. Now any old Pom, Dick, or Rufus can tell the future better than me. Why so grumpy? Someone stole him. Crystal ball. Now I can't see the future anymore. Not even a little. You see, I have a question or two. Then get me a new ball. I knew it! Like wine gums in a nostril. Please note that wine gum should not be pushed into nostrils or any other orifice. Dedalic Entertainment GmbH assumes no liability for damages caused by the improper use of confectionery. Dot, dot, comma, dash. Perfect. Huh. I know Gaul's face so well I could have drawn it blindfolded. Someone beat all the mo- Look, the more room for forehead wrinkles look is totally in. What? Show me that. Hat model. Angscar meat cap confirms. Bald men make a more potent impression. So, did the sunroof open this summer? Say cheese goal. Cheese goal. <laughs> Perfect. Hey there. Talking to us. What do you do around here? Kick it. There's nothing more for us to do. That's why we watch that guy up there. He's looking for inspiration. Maybe he will inspire us. But anyway, we got a bet going on how long it will take him to realize that people can see up his littles. Who are you? We are legionaries. 
We fought in the colonial wars in Haldigan. Now we're just lost souls swimming in the fishbowl without any purpose to our lives. I can think of one. Uh, a little tip. Monkeys do it to get rid of their lice. You were in the war? What for? We all believed in something. Even if it was not the same thing. Mike over there believed in his calling. Stocky believed in the market. And I believed that my ex-wife would stop bugging me. What happened? She managed to find out the Legion's telephone number. Everyone loses faith in war. Are you suffering from some kind of war trauma? The war was hard and dirty. Hard, dirty, and intense. Where are you supposed to go when you've already seen everything? You go on? I hear your words, but you don't even believe them yourself. <laughs> Perhaps we more in common than we fear. I think it's time for me to leave. Otherwise, I'm likely to get bored of Midas. Do what you have to do. Enough more importantly, don't do what you don't have. Your hat is so out of style. Hardly surprising. My issue of hats is over 10 years old. It keeps me sane on long nights in the desert. But at what price? Here, take it. I don't need it anymore. It obviously didn't help you much. Look, extravagant hats are retro, and that makes them totally in. Oh dear, that means I'm completely behind the times. Where will I get an extravagant hat from? Huh? What's that supposed to be? A uh, hat, maybe? And a very extravagant one, too. Oh, give that here! Now that's classy. Ooh, and it feels nice on the scalp. Well, if anyone's an expert in the field, it's you. Look, the more room for forehead wrinkles look is totally in. Oh, what luck! This monstrosity was starting to give me a headache. Look, show me. What? What's wrong? Is that your girlfriend? I hope you are not planning to have any children. Look, just read the future, okay? All right. I think I'm beginning to see something. But what's that? A feedback loop? Quick, take it away! 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 Still part of the prediction? <laughs> How creepy. Smile! And now very mysterious. I want to feel the vision. And now, like you just suffered a mishap. So, I think I got everything I wanted to see. It was a pleasure working with you. So you need a vision. Well, here's one you can have. Aha! I can't make out anything. I know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know it's blurred. See, that's the temporal jet lag. The last time I slept, is uh, in 10 hours. Don't get me wrong. I think it's marvelous. Being explicit only makes you vulnerable. It looks like a tunnel out of one and the same picture. You can't make out where it stops or where it begins. That has something to do with a feedback loop. Yeah, perfection! 
I think I now know what the final commandment should be. Now, I just need a way to carve it in stone without violating the never carve anything in stone clause. Here, take my chisel. I have no need for it anymore. Washable watercolors? Perfect. Now, I can finally complete the last commandment. Hey, boys. Something's going on up there. Hey, has he chiseled his beard to something again? No, it's a new commandment. Really? What does it say? The last thing I will tell you, son, the show must certainly go on. Wow. And that's what we've been waiting for all this time? I'm so disappointed. You also have a sudden desire to go back to Haldica to massacre religious zealots? We should definitely reconsider reconsidering our lives. Exactly. The show must certainly go on. You said here, here. Hey there. Are you talking to us? You need a job? I can think of one. Let's hear it. We've been gathering dust for long enough. To be honest, I don't really know if it's up your alley. It's about to search for a ring. Go on. A beast has stolen it and fled with it in the depths of a labyrinth. Well, we have certainly accepted worse quests. Certainly better than that promo job for baby food at Wrinkley's. What are we waiting for? The time has come, my faithful companions. Too long have we allowed the powers of darkness to spread death and terror, are you ready to raise your swords for the final, all-important battle? Is that thing over there supposed to be the labyrinth? I'll interpret that as an enthusiastic charge! Are you ready for the battle to end all battles? For the fight of all fights? For the cream of all creams? For the punch of all duties? Hey, we haven't spoken about our reward yet. For glory and honor! Did he say glory or slotty? We'll have to chance it. The ring in his hand, he remembered the brave comrades who had fallen in battle. Ugly hat guy, <laughs> the other guy, and... Did I forget anyone? Yes, okay. Well, isn't that just typical? While I'm doing all the work, you're having the time of your life on the roller coaster. I would quite like to give you a hand. Unfortunately, I currently require urgent use of both of my hands in order to hang on to this safety belt for dear life. <sighs> I'm not saying I'm disappointed in you. I'm just saying that everyone has to set their own priorities. <sighs> I wish that was an option. Wait a minute. It is an option, but... That doesn't make any sense. Huh, that's pretty silly. Ah, what the heck. For love! Get a star from the heavens. Check. Don't move! Wait! 
What are you gonna do? Don't move also applies to your drool dispenser. I protest! Ow, oh, don't be such a baby. It's like tearing off a band-aid. Just with a hammer and chisel, that's all. No! If you ah! miss the water, don't forget to roll the... Ooh. Why don't people ever listen all the way through to the end of the sentence? Oh, look. Monsieur has finally decided to show up. Well, who would have thought it? After you almost managed to kill me. Ah, there was never the slightest danger. You were hanging over the river. Directly above the site where beavers had constructed a dam out of rusty nails. That still counts as river. I think I need a doctor. Well, life isn't the bargain bin. For example, I needed a reliable assistant. And <laughs> now look in the mirror. is only a few hours upriver. If we can prevent your departure, nobody can turn back time in Kuvak this evening. Could get very tight. I'll already be departing from there at dawn. Now that's taken care of. I've arranged for a boat. All we need is a romantic photo of Gold and me. And where is she? And what is that there? The cast is up to the director, okay? You operate the camera. Right? Ready yet? Okay, let's do this. Just press the shutter button. Camera ready. Cheese. Hey boys, good news. I've managed to persuade Pimpy. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Gold, this uh, might look strange, but uh... is that supposed to be me? What sort of Perverted games are you playing here? I, I only uh, push the button. <laughs> it's it's part of my plan to. Uh, I I don't want to know. Just the boat is ready. Hurry up. Women, eh? Just shut up, Big Mac. You were right. Love is just like the sea, baby. Just as deep. And as wide, I agree. There are sharks, creek, and venomous eels, and terrors completely unknown. Lurking near the ground, but Pimpy, oh Pimpy, oh Pimpy. We'll not let you drown. Promise, honey. Come on, don't dawdle. Don't you get it? We're too late. Look, the sun has almost set. My other me left here hours ago. Oh, yeah? And then why am I in such a hurry? Because you are a complete idiot. How long do we have until the time reset? Let's see. The sun has just set on Elysium. Root of Deponia's radius plus the height of Elysium's orbit, I estimate about two hours after sundown. Damn, I almost wish we were back in the time machine. Hmm. Well, actually, my lab has everything I would need in order to... Junior? You've got some nerve! Into my office immediately! Step on it! Quiet at the kitty table. The adults are talking. Psst! Rufus! That's the Dean. The Dean is a dwarf? My name is Dean Angus McChronicles Sr. 
senior. Ha! <laughs> Vice senior's probably more like it. If that, the Chronicle would certainly have told me if he had a son. But I don't. May I introduce to you my father? Yes, of course. And I'm the new guest lecturer. Then why are you still standing around? What are you waiting for? To the lecture hall! No, 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 not so quick. I think there's something we need to discuss in peace and quiet. Hello, class. Hello! So, do you have any questions? I certainly do. Uh, what molar mass does a chronoparticle have? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, anyone else? Uh, how do 4D glasses work? Okay, 4D, certainly. Uh, 3D and 2D have certainly become household names. How can deterministic and non-deterministic theories of time be made compatible? Not with a hasty reply, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where is McChronicle? Yeah, McChronicle. Mamo, Mamo. Boo! McCrony Pants isn't here, and I have to go as well. Occupy yourselves for the meantime. All these theoretical questions won't help you in the real world anyway. Haldica wasn't discovered from a desk either. Even your beloved McChronicle knew that and worked on a real time machine. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find it. Is this it? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. So, it's a simulator. Where can I find the actual device? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. And that brings us to today's first lesson. The lock has never been built, whose secrets Professor Rufus couldn't uncover. Write that down. It might be on the exam. Hey, stop that. The little fella's pretty aggressive. Uh, probably had a miserable childhood. No friends to help him sabotage strangers' training wheels. Uh, so sad. Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. So, pay close attention. Moment, mom, mommy. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? That's a temple anomaly. A new layer in space time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon. Slowly being filled. No. Not like a balloon in any way at all. Why not? I like balloons. Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. Ooh. Huh. Photos of baby wombats. Deponia 4 walkthrough for sale. Hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Heh. <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. What are you doing here? You should be lecturing. I just wanted to stretch my legs. Then stretch them back to the lecture hall. And don't come back until the bell is rung. Go on then, hop to it.
you again. Either that or Mar back to your lecture and don't come. Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. <laughs> I wish the ground would just swallow me up. No, we didn't know that. Mama. That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note, because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me... Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. What would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside, so the sandwich will get old! Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Reminds me of someone, my tax consultant. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middle bit. Can motivate him. Yikes! What's going on? Me, me, me! Stereo monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is. The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. Now, inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Mama, 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 mama. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting. Underbite Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrand. <laughs> Her parents were joking, were they? No, Scraplanders. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Grandjilly. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? <laughs> Yippee, school's out. Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. Mm. Shame. Oh, just when it was getting exciting. Boo! Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. to stem the damage that my son has wreaked upon those poor students? Stem? <laughs> I eradicated it. Which damage were you referring to? Those stupid ideas about time travel, of course. Junior claims, in all seriousness, 
to be able to create time anomalies. He says he's built a machine in his shed that can travel back and forth through time. And then he holds lectures on the subject behind my back. Thankless Firebrand. Firebrand? He always seemed to me to be so careful, downright boring. Ugh, I wish. Imagine it. My son, of all people. A dreamer. A fantasist. Yes, an anarchist. Honestly? Huh. Birds don't need warning signs. They're free! Free! And if they want to fly into stained glass windows, they have the right to do so. Ha <laughs> ha! It is so a pipe. You can't pull the wool over a Rufus's eyes. Stuff this tobacco. It, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of my college days. We were so crazy back then. So, la la cuckoo! <laughs> this is very good for us. We experimented with everything <laughs> with plants, with time. Yeah, with women, of course. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to hear that. Mrs. McChronicle was one hot chick. <laughs> ah, too much information. I was even more crazy than he is today. My mother didn't like it at all. She never wanted me to go to university. I was supposed to take over my father's business in the garage. Rocco McChronicle. He said playing with time would only end in tears. What my butt for my girlfriend. And I was already 25. <laughs> may I? I don't know. If you may, I may, right? Uh, sure. Yippee! Oh boy, this looks just a touch more complicated to me. Something tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. Yeah, this is nothing but waste oil. Somehow I expected liquid bronze. You're still here. Of course, Mr. Rufus. After all, we are on the cusp of an epical discovery. And anyway, there are junk ball jocks waiting outside the lecture hall again. They'll have to wait. We are going on an excursion. Pack your things. We're off to... Ma -ma -ma. The neighboring building. Thanks, Hildebrain. Somewhat misplaced, but you still get a star. Wow! Cool! Whoa. Impressive, isn't it? What is it? Me, me, me! Ah, nerd bird? Oh, an impulse-induced tachyon field generator? Mm -hmm. Popularly known as a... Anyone? Perhaps a chubby over there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Time portal machine? Time portal machine, precisely! Because it creates a time portal. But where? Mm -hmm. 
sure, of course, the interim time. The turquoise tunnel, as we experts also call it. And now, for the master question, how to turn that thing on. Turn it on? But, uh... All right, people, I want discussion. Mm -hmm. That thing at the front must be the tachyon tank. What, the milk bottle with the bicycle pump? You need a substance that emits tachyons. Ugh, by the smell, I'd say it used to contain feta cheese. And you have to adjust the nozzle so they concentrate on the thinnest place in space-time. You can detect a so-called potential portal with 4D glasses. 4D glasses, feta cheese, anything else? You're not intending to open a portal into interim time, are you? And why not? The Chronicle says it's too dangerous. It could perforate the whole of space-time. Oh, hogwash. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. Uh, will that be in the exam? Away with the stuff. Membranes are swelling up. Oh, anaphylactic shock. It's my goat's hair allergy. My eyes are burning. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. You finally hit something dead on. <laughs> my sense of humor. Hey. Stay away from our junk ball training pack. I already told you, that's a goat. Where do you think the bleeding comes from? From my wife, of course. She's always bleeding on at me. Claiming that my sports things are actually animals, nuns, or, or the neighbor's children. But how, pray tell, would a goat manage to get down here to the underwater palace? <laughs> okay, suppose that it isn't a goat. Can I still milk it? Of course, help yourself. But be careful, sometimes they bite. Hey, these pieces of glass would be perfect for my 4D glasses. Just a shame that they don't stick together on their own. The shards fit perfectly into the frame. Just a shame that they don't stick together on their own. Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. That's not a training bag. That's a goat. Ha! Nice try. I may be blind, but my other senses are all the sharper for it. I can hear the room. Taste objects. Uh, and... The shards. What's the shape? All I need for that is my fingers and an unusual bout of tidiness. Uh-huh. Someone was chewing gum in my class and didn't give me any, except for the fresh box lunch. It's gonna rain homework. The shards. No way, until my... Who can tell me what this is? Junk? Either that, or a set of 4D glasses. No, it's junk. They're not finished yet, okay? Who can tell me what this is? Either that, or... No, it's junk. They're not finished yet, okay?
The gum is already much too old. And besides, gluing colorful shards of broken glass together with bubble gum? Ha! <laughs> That's totally unrealistic. No way! Until my... That's already sticky enough. I don't know much about the production of nicotine gum, but I have chewing gum, and that contains nicotine. Should work, right? The gum is already much too... And besides, glue... Ha! <laughs> nicotine chewing gum? Oh boy, oh boy! I've just realized that I've got the munchies! Wait! I'll just put my toothy pegs back in. Mmm, mmm, monstastic. Mmm, oh, yummy. Ta-da! I present to you the 4D Glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two! Ta-da! I present to you makes potential time... Who can tell me what this is? Are those supposed to be 4D glasses? It is a set of 4D glasses. Is that stained glass from a window? Don't touch! That is a highly sensitive, scientific whatnot. I see a kind of ring. Oh, I know! That must be a place where the dimension membrane between here and interim time is especially thin. Not thinner than your derivation, nerdo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Hildy. It's in the middle of the machine. Oh, good. Then we don't need to calibrate it at all. <laughs> Fortune has changed sides. Now the idiots are completely screwed. Is it just me, or is the goat's udder glowing mysteriously? No thanks, I still have some. Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta cheese into the tank? You probably built some 4D glasses and realized that the cheese emits tachyons, right? And now, the follow-up question. What color are tachyons? Uh, she means pink. Then it is proven. Feta cheese emits tachyons. Write that down. There! The portal is open! But that's way too small. Maybe there isn't enough pressure on the tachyon jets. More pressure? <laughs> No problem. I'm a professional when it comes to generating pressure. Ah! <laughs> Daniel! Oh, no. Yeah, Zoots! There was another potential portal hidden under the carpet. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, but who knows if it's safe? Chronicle! Hurrah! The moon! The tachyon must have spread out in the near vicinity of the portal. There's a relatively high probability that they have opened up portal to Kuba. And how high is it? Half of the clue. One in a thousand, maybe? And that's good? Well, it's the only chance that we're going to get. And also, much more than we really deserve. Uh, speaking of which, I still have to get gold. That means the leap into the unknown without any guarantee of being able to return has got to wait. No, I'd rather go get it right away. Go! We did!
did it! The guys and I have opened a time portal! Wow, well done. Uh, don't be like that. I told you, I'll make it right again. And I told you, go away. Oh, come on, Gold. Take off the hat and... Hey, hands off! Uh, I do understand where you're coming from. After all, that palaver with the platypus puppet theater wasn't exactly subtle, was it? Puppet theater? Oh, that. that uh, yes, that was intentional. But look at them. They're both trapped, without any hope. I'll never be able to escape my hamster wheel. Wait, you think you're the platypus in the hamster wheel? Of course. That one is clearly female. Look at her, she... Ah! <laughs> I knew it! There is hope! Right, you're right. It is the male. At least she's now free. Yes. Wow. Look how happy she is. She'll recover. On the other hand, one shouldn't overuse metaphors. Um. What's this? Hey, give it back! <laughs> when did you do that? While you were gadding about the fairground. What about it? And you got past the Nova Man with that? Well, someone had to make sure that things could carry on. But then why are you so angry? Because we're not together in the photo? No, because we are. An illusion. A snapshot giving the wrong picture. Or do you think that at the end of the day we'll be sticking that picture into our photo album? Everything here is going to have to end up being undone and reversed. So that we can save the world. So that there will be no few locks on Elysium. That's how it has to be. Right? No, it isn't. Then tell me one thing that will still remain of our adventures. If you can do that, then I'm happy to come. <laughs> Easy. In the end, there's always one thing that remains. There. Look at that. Hitchcraft? Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. What the? What now? That looks like that interim we crossed in the time pod. But where did this city come from? And where are Gole and McChronicle? They jumped through the portal right before I did. Hey, you! You lock! Get off of my porch! Ah, a local. Can you tell me where I've landed? In my turnip patch! Wait a minute. Don't I know you? You're... you're... Glandula, the romantic ninja. Just old and ugly. How is that possible? Are you trying to talk your head off? Don't you mean, am I trying to talk your ear off? Not if I got my gun pointed right. Oh. One step closer and I'll blow your turnip off. But Glandy, it's me, Professor Rufus. Doesn't that ring a bell? Professor Rufus? Yeah, that's it. He was the guy who used to thank for all of this. Just junk crabs and mites for years on end. <laughs> what about him? I, uh, I killed him. Well I'm done. Now get out of my yard. All right, all right. Where the hell have I landed? Are you lost, stranger? No. I have a photographic sense of direction and always know exactly where I am. It's just the when has been a little confusing lately. When doesn't mean a thing round here. You were in interim time, a space alongside the past, present, and future, I know. I was gonna say perishable food. We don't have anything like a future here. Rumor has it there used to be one. The portal building authorities are digging around looking for it in the foundations of interim time. But if you ask me, it's just newfangled nonsense. No future? Two other newcomers passed by here earlier. They asked about the future too. Friends of yours, perhaps? Impossible. They were just with me. <laughs> Maybe out there. Here in interim time, the clocks tick a little different. 
I see they have a few more hands, too. Well, welcome to Paradox City. My name's Rocco McChronicle. If you've got any questions, I'll be happy to help you, uh, um... Rufus. And actually, I do have a couple. Rocco Mc... What the hell did you say? Hey, that's the time bar. That there, that's been there since before I arrived. My father was going to repair it. That's why he founded the garage. Apparently, it stopped being so important at some point. Like, everything here. You've seen my friends? A sexy chick accompanied by a clever, handsome guy? Uh, not really. We were separated. Well, two strangers certainly passed by earlier on. They met the old hermit. It looked as though they knew each other. They headed off to her farm. Turn left at the town hall, and then continue up that way. I urgently need to get to Kuvak. Eh, doesn't ring any bells. Is it beyond interim time? Of course. Then you'd better be off asking the guys from the portal building authorities. They map the portals and know where each one leads. Are you Rocco McChronicle, the father of Dean Angus McChronicle Sr., and therefore our McChronicle's grandfather? You must have confused me with someone else. I don't have a son, and if I did, I'm sure he wouldn't have become a dean. After all, I'm running a family business here. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it. The last thing I need now is to accidentally prevent McChronicle's birth. Where the hell am I? You're in Paradox City, the city between times. Aren't we always between times? Um, excuse me? You know, present and future. Yes, I suppose. Although, here we're not so much between the future. That doesn't exist here. What does that mean, you have no future? That's what I said. If that's what you're interested in, then ask the people at the portal building authorities. They're always talking about the future, and they're trying to dig one up from the junk beneath the city. Absolute madmen, if you ask me. We've never had a future here, and we've managed quite happily without it so far, thank you very much. Ah, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, there you are. Howdy, Rufus. You wouldn't believe who I met in the city. My granddad. I know. He didn't recognize me. No wonder. To him, you're not even born yet. I guess I never will be. Even the slightest interventions changed the timeline. In all probability, we prevented the birth of my father already. Hogwash. I've seen everything possible and impossible in the last while, but nothing even remotely resembling a timeline. The whole thing is more like a fuzzy, knotted time scheme than anything else. It's okay, Rufus. I'm doing just fine. Ah, isn't it incredibly interesting here? Yeah, very picturesque. But we have to get a move on. Don't you remember? Where's gold? In the farmhouse. But there's no reason to hurry. Here is interim time. The clocks run differently. I already know. Still, no reason to take our foot off the gas. One of these portals must lead to Kuvak. We used it earlier ourselves. Yeah, it's that one there. That one? <laughs> I actually expected a few mind-bending puzzles first. But, so much the better. Wait here. I'll go get gold, and then we can go get our future back. Hey, Gold? No time for coffee. Time to move. We... Wait a second. Am I counting right? Your goal? I mean, your goal, too. And you are almost as perceptive as when I left you, Rufus. Savior of the world, suicidal time traveler. <laughs> you forgot butt model. But how can that be? What are you doing here? Which goal are you? She's the goal that you rescued from the future. <laughs> yeah, and in return, she left me and Mac on Elysium, stole the time machine, and whoosh! That was the thanks we got. I've not got such a talent for dramatic endings as you. <laughs> and you didn't get far either. Yes. Perhaps I was a bit too quick off the mark there. When I arrived in interim time, there was no future anymore. The tunnel had simply come to an end, and the autopilot was steering me directly at it. I had to crash land, and was stranded. For us, only a few hours have passed. For her, it's been a lifetime. 
Why didn't you use one of the portals? The portals only opened much later. At first, they were all out of reach. Then the Deponians started to throw their trash into interim time. The time travelers also started arriving from all sorts of pasts. Most were stranded here like me. We built Paradox City from the trash. We tried to reach the portals, but none of them led to the right time. Then, when the first children were born, we realized that we had built ourselves a new home. But now I'm here. So come on, we... What was that? An earthquake? We've only had one of those once before. The time when the portals opened. Yeah, never a dull moment around here. Don't run off. I'm gonna go have a look. Oh, come on. Where's the portal to Kuvak? And the others, all gone. I think I have an explanation. When the tachyons poured into the open portal unchecked just now in the lab, we didn't only open the one portal, but also all the surrounding ones too. Portals leaving to completely different places and time. As time passes much faster in here, they were open for years. The whole city was built whilst you fetched gold from the university. Shortly after you stepped through the portal, the anomaly closed behind you. In the lab, this was a blink of the eye. Here, countless minutes. You mean this city only exists because we opened the portal earlier? <laughs> really makes you think, eh? Yeah, like for example, how do we get out of here now that the portals are closed? I was thinking more of the moral implication. Well, what will happen to the people here if we restore the old timeline? Are we even allowed to do that? I can't see any signs. I noticed that too. You should get it looked at. Amazingly, there was still a bit of antidote left. Uh-huh. You girls having a good talk? I'm just telling Goal about your stamp cannon. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have used so much cheese. Can I take that? Uh, no, it's not finished yet. I can finish it. And just how are you going to finish it? I can finish anything. You're going to finish me off one of these days. Are you finished yet? Yes. No. Oh, we'll just take it then. I will. On your marks, go. And finish. Okay, what just happened here? I'm sure they'll appreciate it in the future. Oh no, few lock alarm. Oh, again? Oh, that means we'll have to take another compulsory break. No, it doesn't mean that. One can't keep the future waiting. Why? Has he got somewhere to go? I can't see anything. Hey, wait a minute. I know that sound. There were wombats in the bins again. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Where are you, you little beasts? Give me something to shoot at. Come on now, show yourself. Give me something to shoot at. Come on now, show yourself.
That time traveler apparently comes from a completely different ethnic background. This is where my respect for foreign cultures and my diplomatic tact come into play. Ooga, ooga. Good day, sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. May I introduce myself? My name is Ang. Hello. You understand what I say? But of course, communication is one of the most important attributes for the profession in which I work. I'm a trader, and it would be a true conviviality to engage in business with you. I vend in medicinal herbs for a healthy intestinal flora in exchange for vintage art from the Neolithic period. I give stone. You give fart mush. I couldn't have put it better myself. Rufus, bring stone. Hmm, interesting. Basalt from the Germian Fatstone Mountains. I can make out deposits of obsidian and even inclusions of chrysoberyl. I have at least two clients who would pay a great deal of money for such a rock. I give stone. You give fart mush. Quite right. Quid pro quo. Occupied. You plan on being done in the crapper anytime soon? Don't rush me. I suffer from severe temporal constipation. Temporal constipation? Not perhaps temporal diarrhea? No, I'm over that. But how the crap? <sighs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, huh? I recognized your voice. You're the time crapper. <laughs> the temporal toilet tourist who apparently has made it his mission to clog every toilet in the entire multiverse. Uh, oh, uh, end time person? Uh, is that you? But I've only just met you. Uh, you gave me this wonderful toilet paper. The money from Cletus' suitcase. I remember. But that was my other adventure, a version of the future which no longer exists, as if a huge plug were clogging everything up. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, everything was flowing just fine. Oh, now it's come to a standstill. Exactly, but I'll get things back up and running. Oh, that would be great. Here, this is sure to help. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Oh, 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 to a galaxy far, far away. Take care, end times person. Boo! Ah! Oh no, the Fulux soup. I'm gonna get fired for sure. My whole future depends on this job. I thought there was no future here. There is for me. My future self is sitting over there in the corner. He says that if I don't try a lot harder, I'll never be as successful as, well, me. He said I've got to save, work hard, and sign up to a pension plan. Otherwise, I'll never drive a sleek instant change five. And then, well, it would all be for nothing. Why don't you just make a new suit? I can't. We've run out of few lock ribs. Oh, man. What a disaster. Ta-da! Few lock ribs? Now, where did you get them? Where do you think? I ripped them off a of few lock. <laughs> I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. But if it's not asking too much, could you take the soup to my future self? Sure, why not? Careful! I think he's looking for a reason to get me fired. Is that your ride out there? Why? Have I blocked you in? No, don't worry. 
chain. So why are you asking? Well, you left the lights on. If you give me the key, then... Huh. Nice try. Not only does the Instant Change Coupe make time travel possible without that bothersome time branching, it also has the automatically adjusting headlights since the 5 Series. That's a nice device. No two ways about it. <sighs> Every time traveler's dream. For a long time, I thought I'd never be able to afford more than the 2 Series, the so-called butter churn. But I was ambitious. I wanted the 5 Series more than anything else. I've slogged and slaved, shed blood, sweat, and tears, scrimped and saved again. And now, now that I've got there, the only thing that still gives me any joy is pushing around other people who don't slave away as hard as I did back then. For example, my former self, that lazy slacker. He should have served me a bowl of delicious Fulox soup ages ago. But do you see any delicious Fulox soup around here, huh? I don't. If he doesn't start moving my ass soon, I could be to a real ass chewing. Fulox soup, finally. Darn. That was actually quite all right. Am I hearing disappointment? Yes, of life. I've grafted away all my youth to be able to afford an instant change five. Now I'm old. Making other people's lives hell is the only joy I have left. And now, I can't even manage that anymore. Ah, don't be so hard on yourself. You can do it. Be a good little boy and bring me some seconds. Maybe then I'll find the hair in my soup that will give me an excuse to fire someone. That's the spirit? And? What did he say about the soup? Looks like he enjoyed it. He wants another one. Really? Oh boy. Maybe I haven't screwed up my future after all. <laughs> Here. Fortunately, we've now got loads of this stuff. Fulox soup! Finally! Darn. That was actually quite alright. Be a good little boy and bring me some seconds. Maybe then I'll find the hair in my soup that will give me an excuse to fire someone. That's the spirit? Are you sure you didn't leave the lights on? Maybe it's an electronic defect. If you give me the key, then... Uh, forget it. Uh, forget it. The 5 Series doesn't have any electronic defects. There may have been some in the 2 Series. The old butter churn was even missing a cylinder as standard. Speaking of missing something... Where's my good-for-nothing past self with that Fulox soup? I haven't worked all my life to have to wait for my soup! And? What did he say about the soup? Looks like he enjoyed it. He wants another one. Really? Oh boy. Maybe I haven't screwed up my future after all. <laughs> Here. Fortunately, we've now got loads of this stuff. And? Looks like he wants... Really? Maybe. Here. And? Look, he... Oh, maybe. Here. Are you sure you didn't leave the lights on? Maybe it's an electronic defect. If you give me the key, then... Fulox soup! Finally! Darn. That was actually quite alright. Be a good little boy and bring me some seconds. Maybe then I'll find the hair in my soup that will give me an excuse to fire someone. That's the spirit? Are you sure you didn't leave the lights on? Maybe it's an elec- If you give- F, F. There may have been some in the 2 series. The old butter churn was even missing a cylinder as standard. Speaking of missing something... Where's my good for nothing? I haven't worked all my life- And? Oh, maybe. Here. Waiter, there's a hair in my Fulox soup. Then be glad you didn't order the Fukaka soup. F 
Duloc soup. Finally. I was about to get my former self fired. What? Wait a minute. What the hell is this? There's a hair in my soup. I want to see the manager and me. What? How did you get here so quickly? Oh, you're obviously experiencing a side effect of my new instant change too. It uses a time travel technique that doesn't create any new timelines. All changes become immediately visible. Didn't you just want to save up for series five? Yes, but then my future self came along completely broke. So I bought the two series off him. It's quite practical. As long as you don't take pregnant women on board. And now that I don't need to save anymore, well, I quit immediately. My future self is probably more in need of a job anyway. And what are you going to live on? I'll break into my pension plan, and then, well, <laughs> we'll see. The future suddenly looks bright again. I'd rather not disturb him. He's still in his probationary period. So, that's your instant change too out there? Yes. Why? Well, you left the lights on. Ugh, really? It's probably a problem with the electrics again. Damn butter churn. Ah, why oh why didn't I save up for the 5 series? Nobody knows. Uh, here, could you turn it off for me? Sure, happy to help. We're out of few luck soup. We've got toast and milk. And I'm also available on the cheap. My name's Rita. Are you single? Uh, no. Uh, yes. Uh, it's complicated. Don't waste my time. I'm almost 40 and I'm a waitress in the city with no future. Do you really think I'm interested in listening to you moaning on? Well, you asked. I just wanted to... Tick tock, tick tock. Do you hear that? That's my biological clock. Order something, propose to me, or move over for the next in line. Do you have a time machine? Do you think I'd look like this if I had one? Time machines have become quite rare. Maverick has an instant change, but he'd rather run over his grandfather than take someone else on board. And then there's Vince, but he can only offer deterministic time travel. Firstly, that's boring, and secondly, Vince smells of prunes. Otherwise, I only know of the old time pod in Rocco's garage. No idea if that still works. So, if you need passage, just forget it. We're all stranded here. The best thing you can do is get married as quickly as possible. One order of, uh, toast and milk, please. On its way. Here, the rest is a tip. Oh, I hate this job. The portals are closed. Ah! Thought so. Classic case of last-minute panic. Busy here. Anything free today? Yeah, a tip for your girlfriend. As long as she hasn't got a ring on her finger, she shouldn't let her man walk around the city on his own. No, I meant the food. Why didn't you say so? We're out of few luck soup. We've got toast and milk. Any other questions? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Hmm, I hear that quite often. I really should unsubscribe from that dating platform. Mmm, peanuts. Tasty. What? You've eaten Mikey! What? But, oh no, I, I thought you were peanuts. Uh, don't worry, Mikey was an ass anyway. And we are Peanuts! Sapien Peanuts from another time! Delicious and clever! What do you know? Can I maybe take you along anyway? The way things are going here, I'll probably have to make you into peanut butter. Mm, no. To be honest with you, we wouldn't like that. Let speak! Maybe he's got a good reason! A good reason to turn us into peanut butter? Oh yeah, true. He hasn't given us one yet. Yeah! Why does he want to do that? For love. Wow, now that's what I call a proper answer. Oh, we'd be happy to sacrifice ourselves for love. Yippee! Me first! About one more question. How exactly does it help love if we're made into peanut butter? Oh, yeah! I'd like to know that too. Let him speak! I want to win back Goal's affection. Oh, that's so sweet. I don't know. Mm, I'm not convinced either. But, but this is gold we're talking about. Yeah, but who's gold? I mean, do we even know her? I certainly don't know her. Oh, true. Yeah, so how do we know if you're a good match? Goal is also more of a long-term goal. Huh? Well, how do you mean? Oh, it's so cryptic. 
Love needs no further explanation. No explanation, no deal. No, sir. Find someone else to make into peanut butter. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. You're right, just forget I said anything. No probs, matey. No offense. Come back again once you thought of a valid reason, you pillock. Hey, Rocco. Howdy, Rufus. Can you repair the portals? Worrying, isn't it? But there's nothing that can be done about it. Portals have neither a motor nor any other mechanical components. Oh, then it's all up to me again. Are there any goats in Paradox City? Not that I know of, and I'm sure you'll find something better to sweeten the time until the portals open up again, you rotter. Huh? Ah, oh, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. This is a workshop, right? Caught red-handed. Maybe I should have hidden the tools. Fix this. What is it? What does it look like? Hmm. I guess it's an anti-diluvian cylinder head. As all of the time travelers come here from the past, it doesn't surprise me at all. It's not even worth repairing. But I do happen to have a spare cylinder in stock. Keep it. The first spare part is always on the house. Funny. With me, the first always goes through the neighbor's window. Hey, Rocco. Howdy, Rufus. I have to get to the time pod. No can do. It's a bit of a family heirloom. Nonsense. It belongs to the old goal. Belonged to. She left it to my father. But that's... You won't be able to argue with my granddad, Rufus. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I'm a mysterious voice from your memory. What? Since when? Don't you like it? Sure, it's pretty cool. Who are you talking to? Quiet back there. Got a tip on how to get past him? Not really. He was the most stubborn human being. That's not a lot of help. You are right. Uh, sorry. Now I feel slightly silly. Farewell. Oh, you all right? Huh? Why? Oh, nothing. What was your question again? I urgently need to get to the time pod. And I said, no, it's a bit of a family heirloom. And family comes first. That's not going to work, Rufus. Yay, mysterious memory McChronicle. What? So, you got an idea yet? I, I thought you had one. But I haven't! Then what are you doing here? You are right. Sorry! <sighs> Always nice to hear from him. You're behaving very strangely. Ah, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. Hello, Rita. What's new? Don't waste my time. Order something, propose to me, or move over for the next in line. What do you think of Rocco? Rocco McChronicle from the garage? Young, athletic, a tushy to die for? Put short? Not in my league. But you flirted with me. <sighs> Not so loud. I don't want everyone to know how desperate I am. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Hmm, I hear that quite often. I really should unsubscribe from that dating platform.
Hey, Rocco. Howdy, Rufus. I think I know someone who likes you. You think so? <laughs> of course. She's just waiting for you to propose. I can hardly imagine that's true. She would have said something. Nonsense. She wants you to take the first step. But by proposing to her, isn't that a bit too forward? Women want to be rushed. What woman would get involved with you if she had time to think, huh? So go, go, go. Otherwise, someone else is likely to take her. And to the victor go the spoils. But I haven't got a ring. And I haven't got a tailcoat for the wedding either. You let me worry about that. Your job is to come up with the right words for your proposal. A little tip. Here am I, there are you, platy poo. Sometimes works wonders. But, oh dear. Hello, Rita. What's new? Don't waste my time. Order some. I think Rocco has his eyes on you. Ha, I'll believe that when he proposes. The last time anyone had eyes for me, they came in a bowl of Fulox soup. Duh, how disgusting. They were actually quite cute. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Hmm, I hear that quite often. I really should unsubscribe from that dating platform. Ah. Look who's back again! Mikey's murderer! Piss off, you dick! But I said I was sorry. <laughs> Just screwing with you. <laughs> you thought we got sour on you, but we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bit rancid at worst. Uh, have you remembered why you wanted to turn us into peanut butter yet? Um... For love. Yeah, yeah, we've been here before. The question is... How exactly does it help love if we're made into peanut butter? I want to marry Rita off to Rocco. Rocco McCronicle from the garage? I like him. Oh, a dream couple. What do you say, boys? Shall we sacrifice ourselves for love? Yeah! Yeah! For Rita and Rocco! Come on! What are you waiting for? Take us and make us into peanut butter! For love! For love! For love! Haha! <laughs> 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 Success! Wow, what is all this stuff? I wonder if I'll be able to start the engine. Ah, uh, damn butter churn. What do you reckon, guys? Ready for a change of scenery? Of course! Let's go, matey! Yippee! All I need for that is my fingers and the car keys. They come in pretty handy here. Of course, I could use the engine to churn butter for me. What did he say? Don't talk over him. I think it's about to get interesting. Ah, oh, you guys. I'm really gonna miss you. Why? Where are we going? Hey! Is this some kind of carousel? Right here. It started. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. <laughs> mm. Mm, yummy, 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 yummy. That reminds me of the sandwiches I used to steal from Wenzel. Thank you. 
Yoo-hoo. I have a question. Keep it thwart. I've got work to do. We're about to make the breakthrough into the future. I can already smell it. Sorry, it's the excitement. Do you happen to know in which time I could find a tailcoat and a wedding ring? A wedding? And you tear me away from my valuable work for this? What could be more important for the future than family planning? Hmm. Perhaps your wife. I see playgrounds, and schools, and kindergartens, and parking spaces for pushchairs right in front of the organic supermarket. <laughs> Sounds heavenly. Just a minute. just have the information that you need. But knowledge always has its price. My informant would like to know, in return, what the new trends in hat fashion will be. Hat trends? What is it with the hat trends these days? Can you find out or not? Yes. Uh, wait. There was something. Tinfoil hats are in. No two ways about it. Hmm. Pass that on. My informant has his doubts. Without proof of this bold claim, I'm afraid I can't reveal which time you'll be able to find a tailcoat and a wing. <laughs> bold is in. Hmm. I'll pass that on. <laughs> My informant has, without proof of this bold claim. <laughs> the latest trend is for extravagant hats. My inform without proof. <laughs> Hard hat. <laughs> My inform without proof. <laughs> Traffic cone. <laughs> My informant without proof. <laughs> Maybe you do that. I have to get to Kuvac one day before the end of time. Wait, Kuvac. Kuvac. Hmm. Unlucky and unlucky. We do have a portal to Kuvac, but that's on the old Hermit's land. So it's not connected to the time travel superhighway yet. We've been fighting for that right away for ages. That isn't the problem. The problem is that the portals have closed back up again. No, 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 it's not a problem, it's an opportunity. It's proof once more of how important the connection between Paradox City and the future is. I can already see the campaign. The only way back leads forwards, but still, back through the future. But that's all just drivel. The reason for the lack of a future lies in the past. What a hogwash. Today was yesterday, the future belongs to those who have the courage to look forward. Oh, you have no idea. I'll let you get on with your work. Finally, I was afraid I'd miss out on the future all because of you. What are you reading? Hey, this is the future issue of hats. <laughs> what else? And uh, are helmets making a comeback? Oh, sadly not. In the future, all manual work will be performed by machine. That would be great. Then no one would have to work. Why do you think I work so hard? Certainly not for the money. This job is so badly paid that I need a second one to make ends meet. And what's your second job? I write fake reviews for an ad finance rating portal that compares free comparison sites for buying building machines. Huh. If only we finally had machines that could relieve us of all these important tasks. That's, uh, the hat, right? I already told you it is. Can I, can I have it? No. I need it for research purposes. In this highly technological working environment, further education is an integral part of everyday work and life. Uh, you could take a break. Ah, oh, my lunch break is well overdue. Unfortunately, I can't leave the machine on its own. Yes, it seems to me that your presence is downright imperative. I tell you what, you can have the magazine if you bring me a peanut butter sandwich. A peanut butter sandwich, huh? No problem. Did someone order a delicious peanut butter sandwich? Mmm, yummy, delicious. Here, keep the magazine. I've read it from cover to cover at least three times. Oh, and there's even some motor oil on it. Just like Mom used to make it. 
let's see what's in fashion in the future. Turbans, seriously? And have you finally found out what will be in fashion in the coming hat season? Oh, well, that's easy. Turbans are all the rage. Oh, really? That sounds quite far-fetched to me. You got any proof for that? Of course. Here. Hmm. Yeah. That should do. My informant is satisfied. If he actually knows where, you will find these objects. I'll write the corresponding coordinates on the map. There. Now please, piss off. Just think. Five different animal bites in half an hour. Hello? Uh, respect? Ah, speak of the devil. Can you take me there? Let's see. Yes, that should be possible. Eh, my old bones could do with a little bit of adventure. <laughs> uh, don't allow yourself to be hoaxed, my friend. There is no adventure in deterministic time travel. Ah, poppycock. Don't listen to them. Never have, never do, never will. Time conductor. Check. Tachyon concentrator. Check. Hemorrhoid ring. Check. Ah, I'm so excited. My prostate is positively tingling. Tight squeeze your time machine. It's smaller on the inside. Cool, huh? Come and sit on Grandpa's knee. And off we go! Again. You know this place? Yes, I was already here once today. Or rather, will have been. The turban, the bowling polisher, everything is still in place, unused. Oh dear, that does make things a little bit more complicated. More complicated? What can you do? These are the vagaries of deterministic time travel. When you arrived here earlier, we'd already left. That also means that we can't leave before everything is exactly as you found it later. And what happens if I do change something? That really does depend. Did you happen to notice a little pile of ash right where we're standing now on your last visit? Uh, how about this? I'll get my things and then try to get everything ready just the way I found it later. That would be very welcome. I think I'll let them see. If they recognize me, all that beautiful determinism is history. Hello, stranger. If you don't have an appointment, I could fit you in in a half an hour, but it wouldn't include washing. I I'm not a customer. Ah. Oh. I was hoping that was the case. Most of them don't make their appointments themselves. You look familiar. Impossible. I have a splendid memory for faces. You need that in my job. As a prophet? As a grave digger. Customers don't come back very often, but if they do, it's important to realize early on. As a matter of fact, I've always wanted to become a prophet. Unfortunately, my father thought the job had no future. Like so much nowadays. Exactly. But there will always be work for grave diggers. Believe me, the day will come when you will in fact be a prophet. And how do you know that? Are you a prophet? Am I a prophet? I'd say yes. Lucky you. 
we could trade jobs. Me? A profit? Oh, that would be so wonderful. But I mustn't neglect my job as a grave digger. I've got to finish carving this gravestone and dig that grave over there. I want you to prepare a bit. Unfortunately, I don't know who will end up in this grave. You're lucky I'm a prophet. I'm going to end up in this grave. And that doesn't bother you at all. I've seen far more bothering things in the last few days. The men's sauna on Elysium tops the list. <laughs> Sure, Greg, why don't you dig it? If you manage that, then all I need is a broken outfit, and then we're in business. Dig my own grave? <laughs> Nothing easier. Can I borrow your stuff? Patience, my friend. You're not a grave digger yet. Show me what you can do with the speed, and bring me a profit outfit. Then we can talk. Ugh, this constant pressure to perform. I'm out of here. Doodaloo! these days. Go ahead. Try it on. Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. It emphasizes the shoulders and conceals your cellulite problem. Congratulations, Rufus. You're now a grave digger. Here, take the outfit. You've earned it. Again. Have we met? Of course. You're the pipehead man, the fortune teller from Port of Fisco. And when we met just now, you said exactly the same thing. Although, damn, that hasn't happened yet. Uh-oh, wait a second. Uh, Vince, would it be really dumb to talk to someone who won't know me yet later this evening? Yes, that really would be very dumb. Did I forget to tell you that? Yes, you did. Well, then it's good that you thought of it in time. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Can you maybe just forget that we saw each other? Not when you're behaving so strangely. Oh, come on, it's really important. The only thing I can do for you is tell me your future. Okay, well then. What are the hat trends of the future? Not a completely trivial matter, I'll ask them all. One more question. Do you believe there's a hair coat and a ring somewhere here? Funny you should ask. I'm convinced there is. Very good. Funny. Why does that seem so familiar? I've 
got bad news. The future of hat fashion is in constant flux. I can only make out one thing. In foil hats. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, something's ringing a bell there. But what? Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, something's ringing a bell there. But what? Hat fashion. Again. Again? Oh, well. Why not? I'll ask the ball. I've got bad news. The future of hat fashion is in constant flux. I can only make out one thing. Traffic cones. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, something's ringing a bell there. But what? Hat fashion. Again. Again? Oh, well. Why not? <laughs> the ball has the answer is... Turbans! I always knew it. And now, please, excuse me. I saw an exciting article. Here's a switch on the bottom. Yikes! What have we here? That's no crystal ball. This is a portable time portal. This whole fortune teller number is nothing but a fraud. We're done here. Hit it! That was fun! We should definitely do that again. Uh, no, let's not, Vince. Huh? What's going on here? Rufus! Over here! Finally, where have you been? Take it easy. You don't find a tail code in just any cemetery. But years have passed here in interim time. I proposed to her ages ago. I see. Then you don't need the stuff anymore. On the contrary, I need them more urgently than ever. The wedding party is waiting. Have you got everything? Almost. Got the tails. All that's missing is the ring. But that's the most important thing. Don't panic. I'll take care of it. Hurry, please. What do you think? Here. Thank you so much. You're a real friend. A real friend who now has free reign. <laughs> The 
there's not much of a selection. Apparently there's... Ah, what the hell. Let's go. Ow! Where have I landed this time? Not in Kuvak. That much is certain. A pile of broken off clock hands. They could come in handy, just like most scrap eventually proves useful. Can I borrow the crossbow? We're in the middle of a ceasefire. Perfect, then you don't need it. Great. The time pod now looks even worse than before. Let's see if it still works. Hmm. I can scan for portals, but I can't open them. And it only recognizes the portal I came here through. Right. That could make a good poison for bolts. Rufus. Time traveler, wedding planner, temporal sniper. Clock hands for crossbow ammunition? Well, why not? Well, here we go. Ha! Right on target. What can I say? About time that something finally went right around here again. Everything here is broken. Was I gone that long? Rita! Rita, you're alive! But then, who's lying back there with Rocco? Who do you think? It's that prim and proper girl, Gold, his wife. But that can't be. That can't have happened. And anyway, he was supposed to marry you. Perhaps you should have told him back then. Didn't I? I thought I had. But that means... Gold is dead? Everyone's dead. Oh. Without the portals, everything here died. I'm the last survivor, but not for much longer. Food supplies have run out. Don't panic. I'm here now. Nice offer, but there's not much flesh on your bones. I meant, I'm here to fix things. If you're that keen on fixing something, the jukebox is broken. I wish it would play just one more time. Just about done. Oh, that's pretty. Thanks, Rufus. You've made an old woman cry over her ruined cartridge collection. Oh, well done. Oops. Yikes! Oh, I'm here, but why isn't anything moving? Hello? I need the more urgently than he does.
Oh no, not good. Now the can landed right in his coat pocket. How am I ever supposed to get hold of it now? Aha! I see potential! The portal that leads to the Chronicles Laboratory. Unfortunately, out of reach. Is there a lunch special today? You could crawl into the oven and find out. <laughs> Maybe later. I rounded up something for us to eat. Help yourself. You're still young and need to keep your strength up. Show me your finger. Mmm. Eat. Eat, my child. I rounded up something. Help yourself. You're still young and need to keep your strength up. Show me your finger. Mmm, eat, eat my child. For the new place, some seeds for his vegetable garden. And whoop. Mr. Ruthless, finally! We almost gave up on you. We were moving the Mount Moon. Why? How long was I gone? More than half an hour. That's all? Years have passed in the interim time. But you seem to have aged so well. You haven't even changed clothes. I wasn't there long. I was stuck in another time. But Gold, the Chronicle, and Count Glandula. No? I'm afraid so. But we're time travelers, right? We can return to a previous state of interim time. Right? Think, how do I get back to the correct interim time? There has to be a way. Hmm. Were there any other parts in range? Actually, only that little one there. Yeah, but it's too narrow. And when I reach through, all I see is the scene from earlier where Glandy fell through the hole. Well, there we have it. The holes are clearly just a half an hour apart in real time. If you hurry, you could reach earlier on through the small portal from the other side and follow yourself into interim time through the big one. Can anyone translate this nerd speak for me? Oh, that! There's just one problem. The portal is too small. I can't get through. And I think I know why. The tachyon valves aren't open wide enough. Here. Take my tachyon valve key. What? <laughs> ah! That should do it! Wish me luck. Oh, oh. Be quick. With every second you spend outside interim time, time has also passed earlier on. already open. Ouch! Uh, what are you staring at? Mr. Rufus, sir? But you've only just jumped through the portal. Of course. That's logical. Aren't you paying attention? <laughs> Aha! I see potential!
Before I go, your achievements this semester weren't bad, with still plenty of room for improvement. <laughs> I'm back in Paradox City, but when? The wedding. It's already started. Stop the wedding! Rufus! What are you doing here? I'm getting my girl back. What the hell? Your girl, really? What exactly is it that makes me your girl? Hmm? The fact you left me in the lurch here? The fact that you then disappeared for several years? Did you really think I'd just sit around here waiting for you? No way, Jose. We've not known each other a whole day. I've known you much longer. You know nothing. You mean the other girl. And you left her in the lurch too. She told me everything. It's possible that you two had a great time back then, but I'm not her. My goodness! You're... you're jealous! What?! You jump! Ugh! Goal! Wait! <sighs> Bravo. Well done. I thought we were friends. I'm doing fine too. Thanks for asking. Besides, I have everything here under control. Just let me talk to her, okay? <sighs> but hurry! The meat cake is getting cold! Goal? Clear off! Get it into your tiny head. It's too late for us. Huh? No! You got that wrong! The marriage wasn't completed. Everything's okay! Excuse me. Are you a sandwich short of a picnic? I know you're a bit slow, so I'm going to speak very slowly, okay? I have been living in Paradox City for over two years. I've only known you a day. This is my home! But you can't stay here. Once time resumes, this place won't even exist. I don't care! Okay, I'm beginning to understand what's going on here. You're mad because I left you alone. But look, it was worth it! Ta-da! What's that meant to be? Tachyon bolts. You can use them to open portals. We can finally escape this death trap. What the? You really haven't got it at all, have you? I'm going to get married! I don't need any stupid... Whoa! Gold, don't! There are... Wait, Gold. I'm coming. Ouch! What? Where's the time pod? Oh, no! How are we ever supposed to get back? Aha! I see potential! No, that's too far away. Besides, I don't want to accidentally break another ceasefire. Last time it messed up my whole vacation. Well, here we go. Ha! Right on target! What can I say? About time that something finally went right around here again. Good news! I found a way out of here. It sounds like somebody spoke, but I can't see anyone. Oh, stop the nonsense already. We can go back to the interim. That has to be in your interests. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Mr. Wedding Crasher suddenly knows what's best for me. Cole, I'm sorry. I didn't want to stand up here. Although kidnapping the bride, strictly speaking, is one of the best man's traditional duties. I know that you don't do these things deliberately. And I know it's my fault that we're stuck here. But for a time traveler, your timing really sucks. Whilst you're away, the old girl told me a lot about you. She said that you would come back and that I should be patient. She said that you had taught her to never give up hope. But all I could think of was that I didn't want to end up like her. Twice you've simply disappeared from her life, Rufus. But every time she had just about accepted that you would never come back, you pop up again. How is a girl meant to deal with that? Is that just one of your signature moves? And you pulled the same stunt on me three times now. And that's why you prefer to rot in the desert? Come on. What's that saying? All good things come in fours. Oh. <laughs> She's pretty upset. That's good. We have a saying here in the desert. If you want a coconut, Chasing your wife up the palm tree is half of that. She'll get down by herself. Really? If that's true, I'm really on a run. They call him Beefus! Don't you recognize me? It's me, Gold! Never heard of you. But I couldn't let you in anyway. Orders are orders. But that's... Oh! Problems? Rocco won't lower the bridge. <laughs> then he obviously hasn't got to know you yet on this timeline. That's not a problem. He will very soon. I guess the guy isn't so great after all, huh? I seem to have a talent for attracting idiots. <laughs> True. First Cletus, then this guy. You really do seem to pick the biggest dorks around. Aha! I see potential. Hey, what are you doing? I'm folding myself a four-dimensional calendar out of recycled paper. It looks more like you're trying to open up a portal to me. Well, open portals are January steam, you genius. You can't do that. That's an Elysium portal. The few locks will come. Then just try and stop me. I'm curious to see how you're going to do that without opening the gate. I'd be obliged to shoot. Or did you plan to... Wait a minute. What did you say? Are you serious? You would sooner shoot us than let us in. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Then brace yourself, my friend, because I'm traveling with the guy who breaks them, even if it means that he'll get shot to pieces in the process. Isn't that right, Rufus? Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, have you any ideas yet how we're going to get past him? Huh? Up here, Rufus. Oh, sorry. I just had an idea. We could... I'm sorry, Matt. Hey! What are you whispering about? And then... <laughs> if you're whispering, you must be lying. And that's it. Think you can do it? Of course. Why not? Let's do it. Take your position, soldier. Really? Okay. I'll give you the signal when I'm ready. What the? Oh. Oh. What is it? Is the portal open already? Just a moment. Okay, now. No, stop! Now we're together on Elysium, after all. Um, I guess we are. Come on, there should be a lot of other portals here. Can't we just stay here? No, we talked about this. At first, I also thought that was a problem. But who will save the world if not us? It's unfair. Why are we not allowed to be happy? Uh, 
Gold? Problems, dangers, problems, more dangers. It's almost as if someone was watching us and... Gold! Responsible for all these few locks. Aren't they just great? And so much more efficient than the old robo servants. They're certainly in greater demand. The security personnel are especially popular. Every morning's the same. No sooner have I sent out the first few locks than the sirens start wailing all over the place. Security alert! Security alert! They can't get enough of them. Ronnie, you've got to stop. The few locks aren't security forces, they're a breach of security. That's the beauty of it. Animals and go karts, but people want drama, action, a new Armageddon every day. And thanks to this time loop thingy, there are no consequences. Well, what do you think of my new entertainment program? You're crazy, Ronnie. Could be crazy. This is not some kind of joke here, Ronnie. It's deadly serious. How can it be serious if it has no consequences? Because consequences are important. Without consequences, everything is just pointless. So what? Fun is always pointless. You're wrong. The opposite is true. And I think you just don't really know how to have fun. As long as I have this hat on, the adventure will never end. But you're not wearing a hat, Ronnie. Oh, schnitzel hooks, you're right. Wait, I'll have to correct that immediately. That's better. Your hat is stupid, Ronnie. <sighs> I know, but you try folding a hat when you've got leaves instead of hands. I can't even get a paper airplane right. Whee! Ow! <laughs> Sorry, the game's almost finished for the day anyway. Not much longer before it's bit deep, bit deep, bit deep. I'd be happy for the company while we wait for the time reset. In the meantime, I'll play you the new song I've written. Slowly uh, may pulling I? out your fingernails. Yeah, ouch. Uh, of course, 50 years of Hats magazine. The best of hats from five decades. Isn't that a funny coincidence? Go on, read it out. Which hat's made it to the top of the tops? Tinfoil hats have still managed to win a good fourth place. An outstanding choice, but where will I get that hat? I should like to have one just the same as that. Didn't you have one with you in the computer core? Yes, silly me. It really doesn't get any better than this. After all, this ha 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 Wait a minute, what's what's going on now? That was a trick! The hat is overloading my avatar! Phew locks! Rufus now! Aha! I see potential. Your hat is hereby fully out of fashion again. Go now. Aha! I see potential.
The few locks are blocking your way to the shore. You got a plan? Yeah. Coming right up. I'm gonna try something. Back in a minute. Huh? Rufus? Rufus! Rufus! Whoa! Ouch, ouch, always ouch. Oh no, go. I didn't want you to see this. It's all right, okay? No one should see their own corpse. That's not me, Rufus. That's Rita. What? But... You're right. Man, this is confusing. Last time it was you who lay here, just like that. I can't blame them. After all, I wasn't here. But we can change that. I know a way back. So that I can lie there instead? Oh, this is all so depressing. Huh, that's new too. Apparently we're even further into the future, or whatever this place is called. Aha! I see potential! Hmm, whether that still works... There's still something sort of like food here. My peanut butter turned into tachyon cheese over time. Must have been goat milk. The water washed the tachyon broth off the hands. Time to recharge them. Thanks, I still have some. Who said? Go! I found a way out! Oh, thank goodness. This place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. The most important thing is that we're staying alive. What are we waiting for? Nothing. Let's get out of here. Ladies first. Wow. So many colorful plants. Those are flowers. We don't even have this many on Elysium. Well, let's be honest. It's not totally like it. And we have you two to thank for. That was us? You ended the war and showed us the way to the promised land. And now? Is there a party or something? Where are your comrades? They have already left. Into the past? The source of everything is good. Right. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Aha! I see potential. Hey, Rufus. I think I should apologize. Admittedly, you are a walking catastrophe, but somehow you make things work out in the end. You make things better. I... I had given up hope, but when I look around now... Don't be getting all maudlin on me now. Come! The future awaits! Well, here we go. Ha! Right on target. What can I say? About time that something finally went right around here again. Hey, you there! What are you doing there? We are the Native Legion! We have come to claim the holy land of our fathers! You certainly got a claim to being bonkers! We have lived here forever, and we don't have room for any little daddy's boys! <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, old-timer? Old-timer? What impertinence! This means war! Oh. Here we go again. Go! Rufus! What are you still doing here? Rita and Rocco! Look, Gold! It's Rita and Rocco! Hundreds of few locks are being flushed into interim time! We're evacuating the city. What about Old Gold and Angus? They refuse to leave. They're still on the farm. Then we have to get them! Well then, good luck! Yep, you too! Did you notice Rita's belly? Come on, it's not safe here. You're right. Let's move. Fuel lock! Alarm! Get to safety! Phew! That was close. What now? We're trapped here. Yeah, looks like it. That means... Either we all go, or none of us! I've always wanted to say that. Come on, Rufus. 
that out there is no longer our time. Someone has to save the world all over again, and I would be very disappointed if it wasn't for you two. Now, go. Yeah, okay. But where? Uh, now would be a great time for one of your ridiculous plans. How ridiculous are we talking? Taking it to the max? Looking at our current situation? Uh, sheer stupidity, bordering on ludicrous. Only bordering? Sorry, too late for that now. Jump! Where are we? In the junk caves beneath Kuvak. This is where the elephant was hiding. Elephant. Have you mentioned that before? Nah, I'll tell you later. First, we have to find out who keeps cranking the chrono car. And stop them, right? Right. But be careful. We don't know in what time we've landed here. Don't look at me. Point in time. Do we? And now, full speed ahead! <laughs> Fupnix, that was demeaning. And now he's gone and stolen our Omux as well. We are stuck here. No problem. I've got a plan. Can you see that thing there? I think it's some kind of Nyx box. And they use this sort of fufnu here, do they? They won't get far if I activate it. Sooner or later, they will be forced to come back here. Are you sure? Who knows how often we have done this already? Not often enough, obviously. Otherwise, they would have brought our Omax back long ago. Hmm. Sounds logical. But how do we use that machine? Uh, I think we just need to turn that crank. No, stop! Completely wrong! Rufus, don't! That's him! That's him! Have you brought our Umux back? The Time Pod? Not directly. Then I'm just going to have to crank again. Aha! So it was you all the time. You have to stop! You don't know the chaos you're causing! Who are you, anyway? We come from the future. We are from Utox. In your language, Utopia. Utopia? As in, the utopia that the Elysians wanted to reach by blowing up Deponia? That plan was doomed to failure. Because we're gonna stop it. Yes, you will. But your people will manage to reach us one day. It has been preordained. At least it used to be. We just wanted to sniff a bit of historical air. Just observing, not interfering. But when we returned to our time, there was no Utox anymore. The spaceship that you call Elysium had launched and had crashed into our planet, killing everybody. That's why we returned, to fix the cause. We wanted to re-establish the original timeline. But then you stole our Umox, compromising the whole space-time continuum. Everything must remain just how it once happened. It is obvious that this timeline here is already too damaged. We have to use your Nyx box so you can return our Umux to us. No, no, no. You can't just put everything back the way it was at the start now. You have no idea what it took to even get this far. Even if it takes as Zizzy Arden goes, you're bound to manage it sometime. Keep back. I am going to activate the Nyx box now. Y uh, okay, I give up. But, uh... Let me do that. You'll just break it. Hmm. Very well. But just you dare to take us for a ride on your tusks. Then your girlfriend will be reduced to Moxo Poxo. Moxo Poxo. Anything but that. What are you up to? Don't panic. I know what I'm doing. Piece of crap. Huh? What's this? 
A secret compartment for spare parts? <gasps> That's impossible! Hopefully, it will have the desired effect. So, done! At last! Now everything will remain... The way it happened before, exactly. Watch out! Where are we? No time to explain. We have to hurry! Come on, we can still catch it. Catch? But catch what? Catch why? Come on! And now, full speed ahead! <laughs> My motion sickness is... Yeah, yeah. Relax while you hold on tight! <laughs> Ow! Oh, great. What now? I think we've bought ourselves a little time. Now, if no more major accidents happen, then... Rufus! Rufus, say something! Holy Hugo! Rufus! Everything okay? <laughs> McCronicle. Look, Gull. It's McCronicle. Who is Gull? And what are you doing here in the middle of the road? You were going to set the elephant trap up. Yeah, but then everything turned out differently. We stole the Utopian's time pod and accidentally wiped out the future of the universe. W wait a minute. What? No future? Well, except maybe for the one where everyone is dead and Deponia is overrun by Fulox. No idea how that happened. Oh no! I am a monster! Why didn't I listen to my father and study something sensible? Well... I'm stumped. Might have been better. For all of us. You are so right. You are so right! Forgive me, Father! I'm probably the home! Maybe we were a little hard on him. Hell, I'm with you on that. I'm gonna miss him. There you are. You don't need to worry anymore. It's all taken care of. Oh, who are you? Fufnix, he's seen us. Don't panic. We're time travelers, too. I stole your time pod and accidentally wiped out the future. Uh, I beg your pardon? Then you created a time loop to lure me back here. But now it's all taken care of. You just have to be careful when you enter interim time. It's swarming with few locks. Whereby they can't regroup once the future is reopened. Obviously true. Perhaps you are right and we've managed it this time. It's a big load of schnuff of to me. What are few locks anyway? Uh, long story. We'd be happy to tell you the whole thing on the way. And it would be so kind of you to drop us off somewhere, so we can't interfere with anything. Just be too stupid if we were to accidentally trigger another Armageddon. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very well. And are you sure that everything has been returned back to normal? Well, this time travel business is pretty complicated. But yeah, I think everything's fine now. Hey, you! Stop making so much noise! I worked all day on my balloon and... What the junk is going on here? Okay, no one move a muscle. This is an outrage. I want to know what is going on here immediately. And I want to know what you plan to do with us. Well, fair enough. Luckily, we had a Shinshuma Klux with us, which enabled us to fernungle your Shinshumas. What? Nobody fernungles my Shinshumas. It's not what you think. Is this about eradicating memories? Okay, it is what you think. It's not what I thought. What about you? Well, I was thinking about an ocelot. <laughs> Ocelots are really funny. 
<laughs> yeah. Quiet! If one of you two is not happy with this idea, then so much the better, because only one of you can be Fernungled anyway. He will then have the honor of rescuing Deponia together with gold. I choose Rufus. Great! Great. Not you. We're talking about the other goal, who is still on Elysium at this point in time. What? But what's going to happen to me? You are going to be Busak, just like the spare Rufus. Will you please stop with your miserable you talk schmoo talks? I think the correct expression in your language is iced. What? what? Uh, just wait a minute. <laughs> what did you think? You don't belong in this time. The risk that you'll get involved again is just too great. So, you have a choice. One of you is going to have their memories wiped, and will need to do everything again. Oh, no. Everything? All over again? Not me. The other one and goal will be iced. That doesn't sound very tempting, either. Not high on my list, either. Just decide amongst you, whilst Kugo looks for a suitable fuse. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? Oh, you idiot! You knocked over the Shinshuma clocks! Oops! What a foofnex! No false moves, understood? I can't talk to him out loud. Otherwise, I'll blow his cover. Luckily, we're an experienced team and understand one another without words. Hey, Tuck! Can you hear me? Loud and clear! Mm, then the training paid off! I learned from the best, sir. Rufus, sir. Oh, come on. You're embarrassing me. One sir is more than enough. Yes, sir. Now for my plan! You have to overpower the Utopians! Uh, difficult. Luckily, I know exactly what to do. As soon as I break cover, there is no turning back. You can do it, Tuck! I'm just waiting for your command. Okay, on my command. If I don't make it, just leave me behind. You can do it, Tuck. It was an honor to have served with you, sir. And... Go! Abort! Abort! I have no clear line of fire! Okay, I'll take care of it. Just wait for the signal. I have understood everything, and will do exactly what you expect of me, sir. Right. Fits. That's fortuitous, for I finally found the fuse. Well done, Kugo. <laughs> ha! Now it's all back in place again. Which one of you is having the brain wipe? Him. him! No, him! No, him! I said it first. I said it first. Enough of this, Buffnox. I'll choose you. What? Why me? Because you are obviously the class Schmogo here. <laughs> Don't attempt to fight it. It will make the pain easier to bear. We will begin as soon as the Shinshuma Clux is fully charged. Now! 
What's that meant to be? An epileptic fit? Can't you hear me? Now! Don't think for a minute that your limited pantomime skills will be able to alter a single thing. Damn it, Tuck! That was the signal! What kind of signal? When I do this, it means now! Hey, Rolex! There's another one there! Now what? Never mind now! We'll take care of him in a minute! It means throw now! Now! And energy! Throw already! Throw! Too late! Well, you know the rest of the story, don't you? With no memories of his adventures the other side of time, Rufus tried everything in the book to get back to Elysium. That's how he eventually got to know me. He rescued me from the claws of the Organon, tried to return me to Elysium, and together we finally saved Deponia from certain destruction. In the end, though, he let go, and he fell, until suddenly... Did someone here order a taxi? Go? Don't tell me you need some kind of special invitation. Come on, take my hand, quick! Wait, you don't know this bit yet, do you? Hurry! <laughs> ah! Got you! Go! I just can't believe it! Is it really you? Or am I already dead? You were going to be going to be dead. I couldn't allow that to happen. Huh, but cutting your hair off is okay. Now, shut up and help me pull you up. Stop this instant. Let the man go. Everything must remain how it has already happened once before. Who the heck are you? That's none of your concern. The only important thing is that you understand the consequences here. If you let him fall, then we will return you back to your time. But if you refuse, then I will be forced to cut the rope. So for the last time, let him go! Who or what the hell is that? Haven't a clue, but I'm sure they're just bluffing. You're just bluffing! You wouldn't allow me to fall to my death. I will pull him up, whether you like it or not. Are you sure that's such a good idea? Quite sure. Right, let's be having you. Hupsy daisy! Oof! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I've done it. Looks like we're quits then. This time, I saved you. Yeah, looks like you did. Unfortunately, there's kind of a snag. Why? Well, they were not bluffing. Huh? What the? Hey, we're alive! The rear thrusters must have slowed the fall. Hear that, Goal? We're alive! We're... Goal? Goal? Oh no, not that! Goal! Goal! Explosion detected distance five one two clicks. 
thermonuclear chain reactions will spread across the planet. Structural integrity of scrap crust will fail in one minute. Warning, warning, your provisions are in danger of defrosting. Wait a minute. The world is going to end in one minute? And me, being the idiot I am, forgot to cancel the post. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, please, no. Is there no other way? I don't see it. We won't remember anything, right? That won't change the fact that it was a great time. Yes, it certainly has been. So long, Rufus. It was an honor, goal. What a nightmare! I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony off. God, talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet pony about it. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I going to do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. Time to get to work! No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream! I had forgotten the bubble wrap! And that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organon conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy! Somehow my vision missed this. Wait, wait, wait. You don't want to seriously tell the whole story from the beginning again. Do you? But that's the point. Now that I cut out the power inverter and that thought thingy, 
I can remember everything. Wait, I'm confused. Didn't you just say you had missed? So I did, you blockhead. Each and every one of the thousands of times I can now remember. But I finally hit it. Hey, didn't you see the awesome special effects? Why do you think I look so old, eh? I, I, I was distracted. The power inverter inverted the effect of the, 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 the shishu, whatever. Shinshuma clocks. Uh, 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 memory laser. Instead of forgetting, I now remember everything. Memories of over 100 years of the same old story. You think your skin would hold out any better? No, oh, it's just a trick. Nothing more than a phony magic trick. Do I look like I use trickery? I got gout, young fella. We completely underestimated the problem. We aren't dealing with just one loop. The time loop you created with the Chronicar was only a small loop within a much larger one. And that larger loop has two loops of its own, one of which has a lot more loops. The big loop only starts again at the end of the second loop. What is that old fool driveling on about? I think I know what he means. It's like a pizza box that you fold in the middle and then take a pen and... No, not like a pizza box. It's actually quite simple, but just complicated. All this has already happened countless times, too often to count. And if you laser me again this time, it's just going to repeat over and over. Goal and I will save Deponia. I'll fall. She'll try to catch me. You'll cut the cable. Goal will die. I'll blow the world to smithereens. Goal and I will thaw and crank back time. Then everything is back to the beginning, and I'll meet one Mc 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 thingy Mc Mc what's his name. Steal the time pod, save future goal from the future, jump off Elysium, and after we've chased across half the planet and through all the different times, we'll end up sitting here in the end again. The only difference, this time I managed a hit with the power inverter, and that's why I know <sighs> this is our only chance to break the cycle. Oh, yes? And just how are you gonna do that? You look like you couldn't even bite through a cracker. Yeah, there's more wind in these old lungs than you have in your entire lard butt, Greenhorn. I have a plan. First, we need to erase his memory. What? But... After all, someone has to make sure that Deponia is saved. As soon as he's back to sleeping, unaware, in the balloon again, the time will be right for another brilliant Rufus maneuver! Oh, great. You got any more bright ideas? Huh? Who are you? Someone who is going to rip you a new Obaf! You have completely and utterly destroyed our Uma! And the time loop is still there, just as before. So. Somewhere in the far future, everything is repeating itself. Again, and again. Well, that's wishful thinking. As we haven't iced you, no one will be able to turn back time this time. The old Rufus is going to blow up Deponia. And that will be it. Oh. Well, at least it isn't the same stupid ending as before. Right? Haha. <laughs> Don't rejoice too soon. Rufus? What now? Another one of them? Which Rufus are you? I am the Rufus you left behind on Elysium, you idiots. That's impossible. We eliminated you before we took care of future goal. You tried to kill him. Of course. Otherwise, he would have stopped the other goal. But you didn't mention anything about that. They only know half the story. for crying out loud. Hey, who's there? Room service, okay? Uh, uh huh. Something is different, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It's the famous elephant in the room. 
Ah, did you really think that you could simply steal our umuks just like that? Well, you thought wrong. You don't belong in this timeline. We will have to remove you. Oh, yeah? You'll have to catch me first. Hey, stop! I said, just stop! You can't escape your destiny! Even if it's got a terribly heavy costume on and consequently gets out of breath easily. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Right. Now you're done for. Let's move. Wait, wait! I think I've got a splinter in my hoof! You are such a zunt, but a little breather won't do any harm like this. Now we're going to get you! I'm getting to the point where I can't take you seriously anymore! You should, though! We will stamp all over you, crushing you like a nushu nushu might! Yeah, yeah, as soon as we've had a little rest. So many clock hands. Why do I have the feeling they're smiling at me? Doesn't matter. Got feeling is got feeling. Yeah, got them. Actually, I wanted to leave it here. On the other hand, I'm slowly running out of ideas. And as long as I'm careful. Whoops! Time to get out of here. Huh? What now? Some kind of immobilizer? Hey, this looks exactly like the first menu. Interesting. <laughs> I knew I could do it without the instruction manual. Going. I'm not telling. What? This isn't the interim. I must have passed straight through a second portal. <laughs> oh, will you look at that? This is Gold's childhood. Stop making such a noise down there, little lady. As you know, disobedience leads to chaos. Chaos leads to garbage, and garbage leads to Neponia. He has just disqualified himself from ever taking his hypothetical grandson for the weekend. Hey, the Telly Buddies! That was my favorite series until they changed Stinky Winky's voice. I cried and threw my porridge around for an entire week. But last Monday, I was finally over it. Goal seems to like it too. I hope she's sitting close enough to see everything. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Behind you. <laughs> Children are so stupid. Winky Winky. Yeah, almost right. Oh, 
thank me for that. Well, what do you know? There's a space here, but it's empty. Perishable milk stashed in a secret space? Check. Surprise! Did you really think that you would be able to hide from us here? Well, you thought wrong. And now, it's my turn to seek, right? No. Wrong again. It's your turn to be eliminated. And may Zorfix have mercy if you have changed anything here. <laughs> the portal that they had opened under my feet led into the interim. <laughs> there, I was caught in the middle of a huge junk avalanche that dragged me into the depths. As if an entire city were to slide into the gaping jaws of hell. Paradox City. The whole place must have slipped down when the future opened up underneath it. Yes, but this timeline also came to an end. After an eternity in freefall, I finally landed there. My last thought was, if only I had a weapon with which I could open portals. Maybe I could have used it to slow my fall. That doesn't explain how you got onto our back seat. No, it doesn't. I wanted to build a little tension. I assumed that this whole thing has happened like this thousands of times. And every time, I came to on Elysium and had forgotten everything. Almost everything. Because the sequences gradually became more and more familiar. For crying out loud. Hey, who's there? Room service, okay? Uh, uh huh. I think I have deja vu. Something is wrong here, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It's the famous elephant in the room. Ah! Did you really think that you could... Hey! Stop! Got milk? Check. But that's all I could get. A bottle full of... Jeez, that's why it stinks so badly in here. Actually, I wanted to leave it here. On the other hand, I'm slowly running out of ideas. And as long as I'm careful... Whoops! Any clock hands. Why do I have the feeling they're smiling at me? Doesn't matter. Got feeling is got feeling. Yeah, got them. It doesn't seem to make any sense, but I have the distinct feeling that I'm on the track of something here. As if a sleight of hand repeated umpteen thousand times was slowly rubbing its way into my consciousness. I don't know what I've built here, but it looks familiar. Hey, I can actually see something new! A potential portal, wherever I know that from. Why does the word tachyon spring to mind? That's just gibberish, like rococo or foot hygiene. Mmm, clock hands as ammunition. Something is ringing a bell in some back corner of my busy brain. Steady. Ha! Who's the 
man. Rufus is the man. <laughs> That's a waste of time. It's impossible to survive a fall like that. He was smashed to pieces on the ground. Talking about ground? What's happened to the future? There shouldn't be any ground here. What could we have overlooked? We'll have to go back again. But first, let's check around that corner now. Very well. Better safe than sorry. Well, look at that. It's our Umux. Someone else is trying to interfere with the course of history. It's very easy for us. Come on. I've got an idea. I really broke every bone in my body. I guess it's about time. The pain. I think I'm gonna pass out. With the last of my strength, I crawled onto the back seat and hid under a blanket in the storage compartment. And then I lost consciousness. And now you are stuck here, too. Well done. Is the bit where we realize what use this is to us going to come now? I... I think I understand. You were already in Cuba when we got rid of McChronicle. But you were also there, exactly the same, when we didn't do that. No matter which time loop we're talking about, Rufus is sitting in the back seat, here! Hello. 
as well as in the other timeline when the Chronicle got to Kubek. You mean he was also cowering on the back seat when Rufus and the Chronicle stole the time pod? And now, full speed ahead! Ah! Oops, guess that was reverse. As well as during your side trip to future Elysium's ruins. Exactly. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher in the storage compartment behind you. Could you please? Uh, all right. Um, I think you're... Hmm? That doesn't matter. It'll work. <laughs> a fire extinguisher is a fire extinguisher, right? He was there when you brought Future Gold to Elysium. Oh, th that, that was a uh, piercing, was it? Change the subject, okay? Uh, if we have to. What's our next move? And disappeared with her into interim time. Wicked. But that means... Did someone here order a taxi? Go? Don't tell me you need some kind of special invitation. Come on, take my hand, quick! No, wait! Yikes! Well, peekaboo, surprise! <laughs> Rufus? But how on earth did you get there? It's a long story, which we don't really have time for, right? Right. I want to keep you from... Oh, look, Barry! Hello, Rufus! Now, I want to keep you from making a big mistake. Whatever you're up to, it won't turn out well. Oh, you think so? Then just you watch. Rufus, your hand, now! No! Stop! Hurry! What are you waiting for? Ah! Ah! Got you! Goal! I just can't believe it! How can you be here? And who is he? Well, I'm here to save you! But who knows what he's doing here? Then let me explain! I'm here to warn you! About what? That you've gained weight? A postcard would have been enough. Ugh. I want to stop you from ruining the ending! Oh, just shut up! up, will you? Both of you just shut up and help me get you in here. Stop this instant. Let the man go. Actually, the men. Everything must remain how it has already happened once before. Uh, who the heck are you? That's none of your concern. The only important thing is that you understand the consequences here. If you let them fall, then we'll return you to your time. But if you refuse, then I will be forced to cut the rope. Now for the last time, let them go! Who or what the hell is that? Haven't a clue, but I'm sure they're just bluffing. No, they're not! Goal, you know me! I'm the Rufus who saved you from your future, but that future no longer exists! That is the whole point of this. Now, you don't understand. Somehow, we've fallen into a time loop. We have to break the cycle. Future? What's all this talk about the future? Let's just assume that you are right. Do you have a plan to get us out of this almighty mess? Uh, uh, of course I have a plan. Then spit it out! There's only one thing you can do. You have to let go. Okay, that seems a bit extreme, but as long as it's part of another brilliant Rufus maneuver, it's all right by me. So, what's your plan? You parked your hoverboard under the next cloud. Or have you got a whistle with which you can summon the eagles? Or, wait a minute, no, you exchanged all of us with holograms, right? Come on, out with it. I let go and then what? How the heck are you planning to break your fall? Not at all. We won't survive. What? What kind of plan is that? Try to understand. It's not about saving him or me here. What? Why? Since when? We're already history. But for you, Goal, there's still a future. I'm sorry for giving you false hope. Both of us. Make it three. I should never have brought you back from your future. I wanted to, to find a better ending. And I came within a hair of ruining everything we achieved. Deponia is now in a time loop. Happy ending? Nothing of the kind. And the ending you're creating here is the worst of all. I didn't want to tell you this, but if you do this, 
Gull will die. Afraid so. And I... I grow a mustache! No! You're lying! Why are you lying? So... There is no hope for us? What's happened has happened and there's no way of reversing it? Nonsense. There is always hope. And you can do all sorts of impossible things. And you definitely should. Tons of them. Several times a day. You can defeat the Organon. Travel to Elysium. Uh, find a practical use for half fashion. And, and pick stars from the heavens. Even the past can be changed, if required. But if you undo all the great impossible things that you have achieved, then you have to do them all over again. Only then, they're no longer quite as impossible, you know? Do you really want to change what you went through together? Destroy the world over and over just to save it again? You fought together for one goal. What are you fighting for if it never ends? <coughs> but this is your moment. The decision is yours, I've said. All I can say, and I'm at the end of my strength. Bon voyage. No! No! What a jerk. For sure. Oh, what does he know? There's always a way, right? Come on, just say it. We'll make it. Somehow. I think he was right, Gull. It would be really stupid if everything we've been through had never happened. Could you wrap it up already? And anyway, changing the past? Yeah, that's child's fuff next. We've done far more impossible things. We divided your personality in three. Cloning you? Hello? Shrunk you and put you in Bozo's ear? Huh? When did that happen? Uh, you were asleep at the time. The important thing is, though, that we had a great time together. Yes. We certainly did. Only the most impossible thing of all, I did alone. Let you go. Maybe that's the one thing that we should correct. Let's do it together. But, but, I, I can't do that. Our patience is at an end. We are now going to count to Zucks. Bongo, Bongo, Schnicks, Double Schnicks, Clovis. I've never had the chance to say goodbye. So goodbye, Rufus. Clovitz, too? We had such an awesome time. Ubel? Yeah, super awesome. Corklatch! Nasal! Zooks. <laughs> nice! Although, wait a minute. <laughs> As I have mentioned before, the end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it and somehow outmaneuver it once again. Perhaps we're not doing so bad after all. The Utopians took me back to the time when Rufus and McChronicle had picked me up. Of course, I was still grieving, but there was also something new and old, hope. I've been thinking about the other Rufus a lot. Was there another goal too? I would have liked to have found out more about their adventures. But apart from me and the Utopians, no one knew that they had ever existed. And that above all, everything had not been in vain. They left no trace, except in my memories. Just like the sea.